Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being bullied by my chat because of the, because of the go live notification I made for this stream. What did you make? Oh, it's it's the filler episode one, but in parentheses, but it's still good. I promise. Oh no! <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I promise. I It'll be promise. fun. No, I gotta go. Mm -mm. No, 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 do. We have everyone here in one session. No, shut the fuck down. No, <laughs> sit buddy. down. Uh, gotta go. Oh bye. my god. No, no, I, I actually have a thing. I, 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 I have to sit here listening about Eminem's and tier lists. Yeah. You gotta yeah. sit through my puns. <laughs> do you want to know who's at the top of my tier list? Yes. Uh, um, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> and on top of that list is Ruck Tuck's mom. Anyway, hello what? everyone. <laughs> We're playing Wait, listen, Ruck Tuck's and mom has got to go and on. Let's be real, y'all. We 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 know this. It's it's in everyone's respective headcanon. That's actually what the book that Dorema had was all about. <laughs> it was fan fiction, but just about like different students' parents. Oh, oh, oh weird. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh no. Oh, yeah, do you want answers? One of the <laughs> one of the answers to the question I brought up earlier no. yeah uh, sure one person says you don't necessarily have to ditch them there are loads of th neat things that you could do with a box of hot condoms I... <laughs> oh Fine. no Fine. <laughs> have a water balloon fight with your lady or man friend so so sega do you remember how i told you that i get i would give you a 30 second warning yeah i know it's well past you fuck <laughs> what? Why? Why would you ask for such a warning? You betrayed my trust. What doesn't Sig betray your trust? Deception. Not everything. Disgrace. He never said he wouldn't say stuff like that after the 30 seconds. That's just true. That's, yeah. He just wanted a heads up so he could say curse yeah. shit mm -hmm. like that. Oh my god. You're saving think, all the good my... content for stream. My favorite one is put them on your fingers and pretend you're a greasy alien. Ew. No. Why? I remember one time one of my friends in high school was like, hey, do you want to know what a condom feels like? So she took one out of her bag and opened it and she was like, touch it. And I was like, <laughs> damn. So slimy. Uh, it is. Uh, hey, yeah. So, real quick, in response to that one, thing. <laughs> In response to that one, Sig, E T phone. No! Oh. No! <laughs> no! That that mo that movie is so fucking old. Can we please move past it? Never. No. Nah. Surprisingly enough, this website, despite being like completely unfiltered answers, is mostly people asking for like help with homework. What? Wow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. I need help in this defense against the dark arts homework, but my teacher is an actual bitch. What do I do? Signed HP. <laughs> I hate I, si P.S. I must not tell lies. Mm -mm. Consider the reaction to H2SG plus 302G to 2SO2G plus 2H2OG question mark. Bye. Is that a chemistry question or there like, are like? There are tons of chemistry questions on this. It's always mm -hmm. chemistry. Oh, yeah, it's always chemistry. You know what chemistry. I really miss talking about like a question website? I really miss Yahoo Answers. I mean, Yahoo oh Answers still exists. <laughs> isn't that uh, where? Isn't that where how is Babby formed? Isn't that where the origin for that? And how do I shot web? Um, I think that it was still so. I remember like, uh, no, I thought like Yahoo people Answers shut down. No, is it? Aren't we is supposed it? to yeah, be playing shut down a while ago? I'm so surprised Yahoo, period, exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yahoo Answers does still exist. Huh. No. No, no it doesn't. Nope. Aww. Told ya. Alright. Woo Crimes so gets gets one way. free internet point for being right on the internet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, well, no, can 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 fish get an inspiration point too? Well, I, that that would require fish to be right in the game. I mean, <laughs> fish is always right, good. so inspiration point. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not yet. I I will say 
I am excited for today uh, because even though we're, we're doing a little bit of side missions, for context for all of our chat and for anyone who's watching the VOD, uh, last session we got quite a bit of stuff done. I was very happy with it. And at the end of this, we ended up we ended a little early, so I can go over um, downtime with everyone. So it's like a little downtime system I use, and uh, it was their homework. It was everyone's homework to do their downtimes and fill it in. And um, I'm not gonna point any fingers. Oh, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> but some uh -oh. some of us didn't do their homework, and so some of us didn't do the assignment. <laughs> work. What do you expect? I, I expected you to do do Drew it. To be fair, I have been working literally all the time yeah so. cat and fish gotta do your job so because of that because of that i'm, I'm one of those asshole teachers so because <laughs> some people didn't do their homework the whole class is getting punished and we're doing, <laughs> filler, we're doing a filler episode today <laughs> capital punishment is a war crime we're, we're doing we're doing some <laughs> we're doing some uh some some little little cute side scenes they're gonna be st still good they're gonna be important uh, but they're gonna take place during sort of the downtime area, and not really do, uh, and not really focus on like the whole core central thing after downtime because there's still some stuff that might have happened that uh, we don't know about because of what everyone would have chosen to do. So we'll do some downtime. We'll do some little downtime cutscenes, uh, and I have a big list. I have a list that I, I'm, I'm, you know, shaking some laminated paper. And stuff, and uh, yes. I, I'm just gonna go on the list. So we're gonna start off with uh, Apis, who has it was the only person who has done anything except study during their three weeks, like a goddamn nerd. Wow. I know, I know. Uh, that nerds. said, your first sort of week, or your first your first period is is doing some uh, some fun time with uh, Penelope because you got off a little bit on the wrong foot. During your initial encounter with Penelope, you wanted Just to spend some time rectifying that. So, I, I just want to ask you, sort of a sort of theater of the mind in the moment, how you might imagine going about trying to rectify the situation with Penelope. If people here who isn't aware, Penelope is one of the mus, uh, the mouse people in our setting, uh, who was introduced last session and immediately got threatened by our. Um, Overly adventurous Owlin here. I mean, to be fair, it was with the Wanda Smiles. But you, 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 yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, but you, intend, you, you definitely intended for to present it as though it weren't the Wanda Smiles. That's, that's like what, that's that's like pulling a gun on someone and be like, no, it's 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 a toy gun. It's a no, that's gun. like ro that's like robbing. In my defense, officer, it was a toy knife. Gun. Yeah. <laughs> Except instead of robbing a convenience store, you intimidated the crap out of a poor mouse. So, how would you want to go about rectifying this? Is there a particular thing you would like to do with Penelope or a place you would like to go? I mean, you know that she is a studious mouse. You know that she is a, uh, bla uh, a blade singer, wizard. And so you know that she would spend quite a bit of her time in the library. And she would also, uh, she also had some interest in the Junior Expeditionist for some reason, because it's obviously where you caught her the first time you had met. I mean, would I be able to know if she is uh, joining up for Junior Expeditionist? You would probably know either just by, like, waiting for her to show up during a Junior Expeditionist meeting, or um, finding her and asking her about it later. You could also try to ask Adelia Root. Because, like, I, I think the... Since I know she's a very studious person, being a fellow wizard, if I knew, like, if we were, like, in the same class or something, uh, I would totally, like, give her some, like, notes on a upcoming qu uh, quiz or something like that as a... Uh, Olive branch. Oh, I see, I see. Um, let's see. Give me an investigation check. Investigation. Yep. Uh, let me double check of all the new shit I got. Also, I have to prepare... Two more spells, but uh, 
Yep. Okay. So investigation. A. Respect. Okay. So, uh, during your little investigation, you're trying to find a way to like give her a hint during a quiz or try to help her out during one of the courses. You find. Let me go ahead and take a look at the class ledger for a second. Where is my freaking thing? There it is. Found it. So you know doo -doo 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 -doo, that you have a uh, concentration with Yazim uh, with, uh, with Penelope as well as Beast Jerry. Sorry, you don't have Beast Jerry. You have not that. So no, that, that, that's the closest you have. You have concentration with Yazim and, and you share that class with Penelope. All right. And so with that in mind, you would be able to, uh, let's see. Let's say that for an upcoming uh, little quiz or for upcoming homework, there is a particular book that you need to get that teaches some methods for better concentration and some exercises. And um, you already know that you have the only copy of that book that is still available. Knowing that I'll uh, try to find uh, Penelope and uh, see if she's willing to share this book to help with the homework. Okay, let's go ahead and find your token. There you are. So let's put you in the uh, let's put you in the library, because surely you would find yourself at the library. You, it wouldn't take you very long, waiting here to find. Let me get everyone here to find Penelope. Eventually, making her way through. Would you like to move anywhere in particular? Because you would be waiting here for a little bit. As uh, as you wait, as you sort of stake out and wait for Penelope to show up. You gonna jump scare her? God damn it! Nah, I'm just gonna go to some bookshelves. Okay, kind of do the whole uh, not like a newspaper with like a little hole in it, but <laughs> <laughs> you are spying then. Yeah. All right, give me a stealth check. Uh, did, 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 where did I just put my character sheet? Stealth! Uh... No! <laughs> I am wow. good. Alright. Um, let's see, you've, you've taken a lot of effort. I mean, you got here first. You're, you're, you are trying to hide yourself. Give me a... Uh, roll again with... Get yourself advantage for this check. Alright, I'll just roll again. Oh. <laughs> the slightest improvements. Okay, so you position yourself, you spied around. Uh, let's say after, I mean, you're, you you time it right. You know when the class is over. Uh, you get there pretty quick, and maybe only six or seven minutes later, you spot the door open, and Penelope walks out. She looks like she's on a mission. She sort of beelines across the left. Uh, you can tell that she's going to the shelf where this book would normally be. She sort of, peer, sort of turns the corner and, uh, if, you know, leaves your line of sight. All right. Uh, totally not being a stalker. Just totally not. Check around this corner just to make All sure right. she's not looking at me. You when you when you peek the corner, you see her shuffling through volumes, skimming through titles, and then shifting herself to the next thing, jumping up and and p taking peeks at volumes that are on the second shelf. She seems she's growing slightly frustrated. Like, oh, where is it? I'll then just come up and just. <clears throat> are you looking for this book by chance? Oh great! It's the Owl and Inquisition. Relax, I'm not here to cause trouble. More just to make amends and because we got off on the wrong foot. Really? So, so I'm willing to help uh, you with your homework and uh, share my copy of the book. 
You can see that she is suspicious. She looks at the book. She <laughs> she peers over it as if trying to see if there's anything weird about it, like you've trapped it or something. Eventually, she doesn't see anything wrong with it, and she's looks a bit shocked. You're serious. Yes, of course. Well... I guess just because I can't find this book anywhere else, it'll just be easier if we share. Just give a soft smile and... I'm sure we could find a table around here. Alright, but before we do that though, I have to talk to someone. I was also wait- I'm also waiting for someone. Oh, uh, alright. So, she explains that uh, she's waiting for her friend to show up because she wants to ask her how the last club meeting went. And she'll make her way out towards the center of the library and walk outside, start scanning the grounds. I'm just going to keep an eye, uh, eye on her, but just head back to like the main area over here. Okay, so if you go back to the main area, you patiently wait for her to have her meeting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you patiently wait, and five minutes turns into ten minutes, and ten minutes turns into a half hour, and 45 minutes later, you see Penelope, and, and despite this, you have been, you know, idly observing to make sure that, like, Penelope hasn't run off or anything. Um, and she doesn't seem to have met anyone. Eventually, about 45 minutes later, you see her walk back into the, the, um, the library, and she looks a little dejected. And, uh, when she makes her way over to you, she says, uh, well, her, her voice sounds much more solemn, but she still has a bit of, um, we'll say terseness to her voice. She's like, all right, let's. Get this over with, and see what this book's all about. Is everything alright? Give me a persuasion check. Uh, I actually think I have... Mm. Nope, alright. So, persuasion! Okay. Uh, and she looks you down and, and is reminded about your involvement with the Junior Expeditionists. And she says, you're, you're, you're still with the Expeditionists, right? Yes, I am. Did you... you and you were there in the last uh, club meeting? I believe I was. Did you see... Did you see, like, a, a small... Did you see another must there? Gray? Looks scared all the time? Uh, did you, I? You, you have not. I'm just gonna shake my head. <sighs> A friend of that, yours, I assume? Yeah, and she's gonna tell you about, uh, she's gonna tell you a bit more about her. She's gonna explain, you know, that's my friend, Samantha. Samantha of the Gray. She was supposed to be joining the expeditionists with me, but I guess she chickened out. Well, it's not for everyone. I can't fault her for uh, not joining. Well, she should at least try. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Let's go see what this book's about. Sounds good. So, where are we heading? Yeah, she would she would she would lead you to one of the tables in the, a little study area, either downstairs, under the library, or um, across the hall. Actually, she'd probably lead you downstairs. Returning to the scene of the crime. <laughs> dun dun dun! That is the scene of the crime, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. Is. I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> Uh, 
So, let's say you would probably find this table is empty. I'm just going to say it's empty. <laughs> Who are those guys? Doesn't matter. It's you now. Also, there's two pens. No! Oh, no. What else? What else is there? All right, where, where's the other apis? Two pens than <laughs> just one. Two pens is better than one. It's a positive feedback mm. loop of pen. All right. That's just her evil twin. So, Ooh, another she. Pen. Why is it you like you. Evil so once you sit down, and uh, you sit down and you you kind of, <laughs> you might uh, resolve to focus on the book and and move past the uh, the Samantha topic. But even though Penelope kind of said that she doesn't want to talk about it, you can still hear her muttering about it under her breath. She says something like, Stupid freaking club. It's their fault. Just perk up. You said something? I said it's... It's... It's your it's your club's fault that Samantha doesn't even want to join anyway. It's just we we were there. Hours. Yeah, we were supposed to be there. We had planned it all summer. We were there for the first meeting, but when they knew about what Samantha was like, they fucking laughed her off without a second thought. And she kind of like becomes a bit more bitter and bitter as she describes the scene of what happened. You learn a little bit more about Samantha. You learn that Samantha is a cleric who has taken a very strict vow of pacifism. This puts a huge strain on the junior expeditionists who need to go out and perform actual expeditions that are typically very dangerous. Even though she was relatively welcomed in by Adelier, she explains that uh, everyone else in the, or rather, mo too many people in the expeditionist team, laughed off this tiny, tiny mouse girl who wouldn't even be able to defend herself. And it scared her off. And now she doesn't want to join anymore. And it pisses Penelope off because we're supposed to be a super cool adventuring duo. Well, from my time, it's not all about you know, having to defend yourself as long as you have a strong team around you. Well, still, I know that she can, I know that she can do more to be more independent. I just wish people wouldn't shut her out like that. They won't even give her a chance to prove herself, you know? I'm just gonna look over and kind of set the book down. I'll give her that chance. If she wants you, to uh, rejoin. You would? Are you sure you wouldn't threaten her with another wand? I, I hold out the wand of smiles. No, this is the only one I have. Hmm. And she you definitely, about it. And you definitely look like someone who needs uh, this use. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, excuse me? What does that mean? It's a wand of smiles. You could use a cheer up. I am actually gonna use the wand of smiles. Uh, on her? Ooh. All right. Uh, I believe a wand of smiles requires a charisma saving throw? Yep. Is it charisma? Yep. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, I have advantage on perception checks. Okay. So, you point the, you point the wand there, and you see, you see the, you see the wand work its magic for a second. The sparkles shimmer around the, the sides of Penelope's temples. She hesitates for a split second, and then you can see her grin from ear to ear, forcefully. Just, eh! 
Uh huh. Funny. Very funny. Ha huh, ha. Huh. And then, after a moment or two, she sort of relaxes back to uh to her normal self. <sighs> and then she, you know, kind of glooms over for another moment and finally looks to you and says, "All right." So, if you can give her a chance and get everyone else to back off, then I guess I can forgive you for being so rude yesterday. Deal? I'll Definitely hold out my hand. Yesterday. That was probably like yeah. a week ago. Well, yeah, I guess it wasn't yesterday. Probably the other day, I'll say. Being so rude the other day. Deal? I'll hold out my hand. Deal. All right. She shakes her hand. About now, uh... I would like to ask another player if they would like to be in the scene, particularly uh, if, uh, if anyone in particular wants to join the scene for this, uh, feel free if they want to have a conversation. But also, because we're in the library, I think Rucktuck should be here, right? Yeah, Rucktuck's wandering around somewhere. Okay. Uh, Rucktuck, I feel like you probably would have been around here by now. Do you mind if I insert you in? Go for it. Okay, so after you make the deal, Rucktuck appears doing whatever Rucktuck does. Probably sorting books. Okay, so Rucktuck appears and begins to sort books, and Penelope catches to the corner of her eye this innocuous kobold working out the library. Off in the distance, there is a bug. Just Wait, where? Way down here. Oh, shoot. Oh, did you just put yourself there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, there's also a sorcerer somewhere in the library, too, because studying. Okay. Do you want to be in the library, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let me just get you in there. Do you, Would you like to be seated with, uh, with Tricky or just kind of doing your own thing? Uh, I can be seated, seated with Tricky, yeah. So you guys will have been here at this point, and uh, maybe, maybe about now, a few moments ago, uh, I want both of you to roll perception checks. Ooh, not a great stat for me. That's a great stat for me! Okay. <laughs> so not between, that great. So between the two of you, uh, Rhea Lise, you notice across the table, Apis, one of your uh, classmates in the previous course, and one of his classmates, this tiny mouse, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, sitting you. down, and you see them talking to each other about something. You see that um, you, you catch out of the corner so of your of eye the I'm sort trying. of almost like a danger sense. You see Apis pull the wand, pull a wand out and and aim it at the mouse, and she starts to smile. And then they, you know, the smile relaxes after you realize that the wand was not a threat. And, uh, you know, they seem to, to be, have, have a bit of a warmer aura around them and they shake hands. Hmm. After this observation, you see, uh, you see Penelope turn her head to her right as if looking at something across the corridor. Back to Apis, you he back to Apis, you see, um, you see Penelope look and says, "Oh, that's them." Hold on, I gotta talk. I gotta wait for a sec, and she starts skipping, uh, almost uh, fully cheered up by now. Uh huh. And really, so you of course don't hear the conversation, but you see, you see her hop off her chair and start mm -hmm. skipping away. Part of me wants to be nosy. <laughs> be, go on, be a main character. Ooh! Ooh, I'm gonna be nosy then. Looks like we are the main characters. Yeah, right? Totally. <laughs> we were the main characters we made along the way. Totally. All right. Ruck yeah, I'm gonna be nosy. Ruck Tuck, give me a perception. Oh, actually, what is your passive perception? That is an excellent question. One moment. character she's just loading one moment my <coughs> passive 
passive perception is... Where is it? Where is it on okay. this character? Okay, sheet? well, I rolled a 20 on stealth, so it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but where is this on this character sheet? Wait. Damn. Which character sheet are you using? The standard D20 one? Yeah, but I used a different one in the other campaign, so I don't know this one very well. I'm, 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 look, I'm, I'm gonna look at it with you right now. It's just taking a while to load. Oh, it makes sense. Uh... Where is it? It should be on here, because usually it's... Yeah, it's strange. It's usually... It's, right. it's not obvious, although, I mean... You can just look at your perception score, and your passive is 10 plus the score. Do you think I'm going to remember that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. Jeez. Do you think I'm going to remember whole life, it? man. This is huh. what I have That's known. valid. Usually, usually there's like a senses section. But yeah, looking yeah. at this, your passive perception is 13. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. We'll look up later where you can find this on the sheet more properly. I'll look at it later. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, feel free to move your tokens around if you are moving. Uh, but Ruck Tuck, you you are you are going through sorting sorting through books over here. You know you 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 reach through your wagon. I don't have the wagon drawn, but you you have the, the wagon. wagon. Always, as always, you you reach down, you take a book, you put it in the uh, in the shelf. You reach down, you take a book, you put it in the shelf. You're, the third time you reach down looking for the next book to place you see uh uh the head of a mouse just like peeking over the books <laughs> at you and she starts up hey and it's so startling that you like jump back for a moment and bump into the shelf ah! you're you're ruck tuck right i've heard a lot about you uh, yeah i am hello so you're really, you're really them? The Brit, and she kind of goes off, she kind of, like, starts singing your praises. The famous kobold who held off that villainous tiefling last week? Oh my what? goodness. Uh, wait, 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 what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Wait, what? Yeah, where it gets around fast. They said you held off. They saw how it popped an entire tiefling commander by yourself. And even when he became a giant, <laughs> giant chameleon, you still fended him off. Like, wow! Ping! Sacred flame! And she, like, shoots out, like, what? doing, like, anime moves. What the fuck? I can't even do sacred flame. Oh, I, okay, maybe it's slightly embellished, but uh, I think... I think that's pretty amazing, especially for a first year. Uh, it, I wasn't alone. I didn't do it. I had help. Oh? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Rucktuck looks over and sees Apis I'm, and points I'm at I'm moving him. over to you. Yeah. Uh, they were there. Uh, Tricky was there. Fish was there. Uh, Ursa was there. No, Earth and Fisher. No, <laughs> whoops. Uh, I'm trying to remember the fish. <laughs> wow. Also, uh, yeah. Apis wasn't there. That fish was, was moving so fast. Oh, yeah. Apis wasn't, wasn't there. Apis there. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't there, there actually. There. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember who was actually there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everyone except Apis. Apis. Okay. Uh, Samuel was there, and Release was there. I. And give me, give me a persuasion check. All right, where's my persuasion? That's a fourteen. Uh, she 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 leans in and places her hand on your shoulder. Oh, no. oh stop being so modest! Damn it! Can I hear them yet? Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, Penelope is not really trying to be uh silent or quiet with her talks, but around okay. now, but around now, she kind of takes her hand and presses it against Ruck Tuck's back and sort of leads them aside saying, hey, do you have a second? I want to ask you something. Uh, yeah, go for it. 
I'm doing the, I'm, I'm doing leads, the sneaky, sneaky lead, nosy scramble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Le leads you to a corner. She she peeks. She she stops for a second to peer to see if Apis is following her, which means she might catch you in the act, Tricky. Roll a stealth check. It already. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna roll a stealth. Oh, roll did you? I'm going with you. Oh, you. Oh, oh, you. Real East. <laughs> oh, you did. You did. You you did roll a stealth yeah. check. In that case, I, mean, I want Real East to roll a stealth check as well. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm a negative one with this. Why I mean, the, why is the dark sorcerer? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Dang. laughs> <laughs> the stealthy, y'all. The stealthiest. Oh, Why right. Is the shadow sorcerer at negative one stealth. Because I just am. Just am. Just All right. is what it is. Uh, man. Ex 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 explain to me how you blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know from your own words. Damn, you really want to know? I do. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. You, you, have, you have full narrative control as long as you <laughs> blow it. As long as I blow it. Fuck. Oh my. As I moved over to Apis, I tripped over the chair and fell Aww. on my face. All right. Yeah. In, that, in that case, you and Apis are both prone. Huh? I fell on Apis. I just fell out the chair. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was thinking of a scenario where like you tried oh, to sneak no. past and then Apis like pushed back the chair like in front of you and then you tripped over it and like knocked both of oh, you no. over. That was my imagination. Oh no, I kinda like that though. I didn't realize this was a PvP game. Apparently. <laughs> Apis, how do you feel about that? Any game with me, and it is a big I game. am just. <laughs> I am just gonna look over. Wouldn't that. That would make really. Like, that would make really. Like, there, right? She tripped and fell by the chair. Uh. Probably, not, yeah. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Is that yeah? Right. But you, you, but but Penelope, of course, catches wind of this loud series of events. She and I'm not gasps. gonna say anything as I fell. I'm just gonna lay down on the floor. I'm not gonna get up. I'm just gonna even stay there. She <laughs> she gasps, uh, uh, adding some flair of her own. Sneaky spies coming in to sneak, and she grabs uh, Ruck Tuck's hand and drags them running along the hall. No! <laughs> oh no! She oh, no. she she makes her way here. And using her, you know, must status and Ruck Tuck's mm. tiny stature, manages to squeeze you <laughs> in between the shelves. Ah! What the? This, this okay. ma'am. I would right. like, first of all, I would like people to look at off topic discussion to see how. Oh, <laughs> sure. no. Oh, Let me see this. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, no. All right. All right. All right. Everyone gets to see this. No, this is tricky. I don't want that. This no. is tricky right now. <laughs> this is bad. I hate it here. General no. penalty. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it here. No. Oh, that's yes. really good. That's that was gross. good. That is very cursed. Um, All right. Uh, how? But are yes. They, are these bookshelves floor to ceiling? Uh, no, they are not floor to ceiling, but they are high. Okay. Yeah, Penelope, boy. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm, I'm so mad. It's a negative one. Shh, it's a secret. Uh, <laughs> you, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> what is the money getting there? I'm seeing this. Part. <laughs> <laughs> this bug just crawl on the ground. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I, wanna, I, wanna I wanna climb up on top. All here right. That's of... that's fine. You're gonna you're gonna hear the juicy piece of intel. Okay. At least somebody time, does. Can we have it that we we could have just found a room or something. Library looking for Tiki, <laughs> and she, <laughs> she needs to crawl up on top of a. Oh God, on top no! Case. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> One of those days, huh? That's real stuff. All right. I'll accept that. Nice. Roll a, uh... Oh, you don't have to roll a stealth check unless you want to hide yourself from Tricky. <laughs> no. 
But no, I All don't right. need to hide from Tricky. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Now, now to plop myself onto the Oh, I, I have to add your token, sorry. Okay. I'm the only one who got it set up where I can do it for myself. Mm -mm. Oh. There you are. Down here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So uh now that now that uh Penelope and Rucktuck are snug tight between bookshelves, she feels a bit a bit more uh confident in whispering into Rucktuck's ear the secret. Tricky, give me a perception check. Please roll high. I am like as close as I can be. You like, you are as I close, like... but because Penelope knows that people are watching, she yeah. is whispering okay. to Rucktuck. <laughs> you are you are you are okay. Every everyone else who failed their respective stealth checks just cannot hear this. Yeah, no, it's fine. So Penelope is like, listen, listen, shh. And uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna say it in a whisper because I want to make sure that it's actually audible. Just but just imagine everything is a whisper. Mm. She's she's like, I I have a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. It's. Oh. It's my third year, and I need to do this for a friend of mine. I'm going to run for student council. <gasps> and, I, and I need a good bishop, and I think you'd be super good at it. Oh. And this is a secret why? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um. I... Well, it just seems better to not, not, not announce it until I know who everyone's gonna be. I still need a bishop. I, I, I don't know. I'm not really that good with politics. It's no problem. Me, oh wait, hold on. It's no problem. Me and Spyro are gonna handle all the optics. So all you have to what? do is your religious thing. And you're so good at it. You beat up that guy by yourself. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I was Damn. Not useful, really. Rock Tuck, you can definitely see me though, because I am behind. Rock Tuck just looks up. If you, that's that, that's not gonna fly with me. If 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 Rock Tuck can see you, Penelope can see you. I am uh, behind uh, Penelope, who is looking at Rock Tuck. Shadows. And Penelope. Penelope is aware of eyes everywhere. So she I'll is, be dead she's, honest. She's, she's, Rucktuck she's just looks actually, up. Actually, and actually, just give me, give, give me, give me a hold on. Give me a dexterity check, Tricky. Just straight dexterity. Why? What is this for? Because what you're trying to do, if you want I'm to make your presence, I'm not trying to make my presence known. I'm just saying it is. If they, as they are facing, it is likely that Rucktuck is much more likely to know that I'm there. Rucktuck is much more likely to know. But what you'll have to do is basically pop your head between the the shelves and signal <laughs> to Rucktuck, and then quickly hide your head away before Penelope checks. I mean, you are you are above you are above her, so the DC is fairly high. Hey! I, I'm not Dang. signaling uh -oh. to him, but I'm I, I'm there. Like, all I'm saying is, I am there. I, I didn't say I was signaling her. All right. So, here's here's what I want to say happens. Now let me know if uh, if this is if this isn't driving with the narrative flow. But I'm imagining that in this scenario, Penelope is 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 goading Rucktuck into joining her student council. And uh, and she's she's checking around because she knows that people are trying to t trying to trying to peep on her. Uh, you, Tricky, are trying to at least peer over the wall, or peer over the corner, peer over the crack to see Rucktuck. Whether you're signaling anything or not, you you are you you try to peer over the crack to observe them. And at one moment, Penelope looks around, turns her head. In an instinct, you shift your head back. But unfortunately, 
shifting your weight causes the bookshelf to teeter just slightly and a book drops and lands on the floor in a thud. Hmm. I think I would rather just not pull back. I'd rather just slowly tilt my head in and not try to hide at all. Mm. And when she turns around, just be there. Like, <laughs> oh, God, oh, no! I slowly turn my head so that it's upside down in the passageway. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate I'm it here. Say, mm -hmm. Ruck Tuck just happens to look up and... What the? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Penelope, Penelope sees the Thrycreen and uh, basically at, at lightning must speed squiggles uh, through the cracks. You hear her mutter something to Rock Tuck, be like, I'll talk later, meet me at the, 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 the yeah, meet me at the door. <laughs> Wait, don't leave me you, in here! You, 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 you miss, you miss what, you miss, uh, a bit of what she says. All you could make out was, meet me at the dorms. And she scutters away at lightning speed, using her, 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 you know, narrow mouse body. She can navigate through the cracks quickly, while you have to struggle and squeeze yourself out at Damn. half speed. Actually, like, Rucktuck just looks back up and Tricky is just like, help. Meanwhile, Penel Fishy was watching and only has an idea of what Tricky was doing and had no idea that there was anyone actually in the bookshelf is now cackling because she thinks it's so funny. <laughs> All right. And with and with that, Apis, you finally turn the corner to see this this weird scene ensue of two people screaming in the library and uh, your mouse friend ducking down the stairs. At this time, I'm getting up slowly. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, next time you see that mouse rat tuck, you should tell them that if they scream, they give away their position. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, can you help me out? <laughs> I don't know how she got me in here. You, 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 you are small. You are able to squeeze yourself through there. It just takes some effort to get out. All right. Fuck. I hop off. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, that's crazy. That's fucking cold. It really is, man. Just, you can see the shelves shaking as Rucktag just panics to try and get out. All right. It takes, uh, you guys have a moment to maybe meet up. You guys are all sort of aware of each other now. The scene has left everyone a bit aware. Uh, Tricky, Fish, and Apis, you all are aware of each other. Uh, Realise, you are aware of at least Apis, maybe also Fish. Yeah. And, and you know Tricky was around here somewhere, but you lost sight of him. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do, surprisingly. Yeah, especially with my nat one, yeah. Mm. I, I am just gonna mm. look around the corner and like... I... You know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> just <laughs> turn back. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am going back since she kind of fell over my chair. I'm thinking <laughs> this. I'm going back. Hey, yo, chair! All right, you 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 have maybe another moment before you hear scurrying from upstairs as Melanie Dan's races down. What is all that racket? What is happening here? Ms. I just Dance. sit in the chair and you, I, I'm literally like sliding in the chair, so I'm like half in the chair, just like sulking because I fell. I'm gonna slide. What you is that look? noise? Fish has ceased I... her cackling and is now just quietly <laughs> snickering. <laughs> <laughs> I Give better not. Yeah. <laughs> I better not see anyone hiding and doing unmentionable ruck tuck. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, how on earth did you get there? Penelope dragged me in here. Quick, grab my hand! <laughs> oh my god, this is too cute. I can't. Uh, 
as 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 uh as the wizard maestra and Rucktuck both spend some quality time struggling to to grab hands so that Rucktuck could be pride free. I feel like we can end the scene here. <laughs> uh, Maybe yeah. Yeah, totally. I do want to go talk to Whether the other mouse. Samantha? Yeah, I want to talk to Samantha. It is left up to your imagination. That is, that, that's totally fine. You'll have a chance to talk to Samantha when it is your scene with, uh, with the student council. Oh, I got a student council oh. scene. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. No spoilers or anything. But... Yeah, no, no, no spoilers or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. But you're getting the scene. Hey, is there anything you guys wanted to talk about here as a group? I uh, just as like someone Melody is tricky a question, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna Are say just learning things and then nobody asks about them, so it just doesn't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say as soon as like Melody comes down, oh, I see Riley's slinking up. I'm just on the chair. Don't mind. Just yeah. gonna slide a book. This might help with with your cover. <laughs> Puts a book to the face. Slide it Maybe, over. You might be, <laughs> you you may or may not be beat red from uh, yeah. embarrassment. Yeah. All right. I think I think people have a chance to to ask Tricky a question later on because I think right now it's just between you and Fish. But unfortunately, Fish has detention. And that's the next thing we're right. going to do. Attention. Detention. This will be. Oh, this will be How this, long is the detention? This will take. This will take place. The the time time is a little wibbly wobbly during my little, yeah, 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 yeah. little hours. Fair enough. Uh, but this will be. This will take place after Fish's last day of detention. Okay. And for and for uh not to be too ominous, but for oh. the purposes of this detention, oh. uh, Fish will be alone. Oh, very spoopy and ominous. I completely missed all of that. There was an interruption. You had Don't detention. worry about it. Uh, you have detention, and something's going to happen uh, after detention. No, nothing ominous or spoopy. No, no, no. No, oh, no. When you say that, though, it makes me think something ominous and swoopy is gonna happen though i mean that's what dryer says nothing ominous or swoopy so there's I, nothing I, ominous or spoopy about this scene don't worry about it yeah, okay, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well let's let's get uh tricky out of here because tricky's not here <laughs> oh, no. but you you are here uh fish you had just finished your detention sentence and um i want you to roll a perception check where am I? You are right here. That tells me nothing. Are Sorry, on I'm, on the the I'm, I'm on the G. I'm on the G. I'm on the G. I'm there. I know. I know. I know. I'm on the G. I'm there. <laughs> Does that help? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, give me a perception check. Perception. Perception. Wow. Nine. All so right. Not, very, not super perceptive. Not that great. <laughs> okay. So you're 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 just casually. I, I I hope you'll excuse. I'm going to take away narrative control for just a minute. Uh. So it is the last day of detention. Mm -hmm. And you're done with that, and you're 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 ready to go home. <laughs> The fuck? Um, I don't even want to know. Did someone just fail their ac the acrobatics check? What happened? I think so. It seemed <laughs> did, like it. Did someone, did someone just like recap Rhea Lisi's stealth check? Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Oh, I will not date this. I this to my room. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even the dog knows it's spoopy and ominous. Apparently. <laughs> what, are you okay? You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It, it was a rolling chair too. 
Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> it's wet. But it's okay. I fell on my carpet. And I okay. Oh, like, okay. Fall in slow motion. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but yeah. I mean, if it works, it works, I guess. As long as you're not there. Okay, I'm gonna go close my door real quick. Yeah. So she doesn't come back in, and the same thing doesn't happen again. <laughs> All right. We're gonna give. We're gonna. We're gonna give. Uh, we're gonna give fish a little bit of time. Yeah. To dog proof her room. Dog proof yeah. her room. <laughs> I just. There's part of me that kind of like I. I know no one could see me fall, but I kind of hope that <laughs> someone like caught that at least. <laughs> might go back afterwards in the VOD and clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, chat, if you're out there. Clip or it. VOD watchers, if you're out there, send me a timestamp. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, I, I'm back. <laughs> yes, are you I'm, back formally? I'm, okay. I'm alive. So, to retake Yay. the narrative control that your dog stole from me? Damn! <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put you. It, it is it is the last day of um, of detention, and you're 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 ready to go home. It's it's been a week of detention. You're like this this sucked, but we're good. We're good. It's fine. I can go back to my normal life. I can finally talk to Archibald again. Uh, and you're you're just you know it's just any night like any any other this week. You're just casually walking down. You're going along, and when you get to around here a figure suddenly not not like not like jump scary but a figure steps out Booby. of from behind the tree and of course it's wow oh who, my who, god who, 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 who you remember got off of the tension a little bit early tonight and he's brought his elephant Hi. with him and, Not he, and, the he, and, he, and, he, and he looks you dead in the eye with a serious look in his face. Uh-oh. As a moment after you see him, you hear the distinct sounds of doors opening. First on your right, and then on your left. That doesn't mean about the bully, our <laughs> favorite yeah, tabaxi. And For real. when you turn to the right... Am I going to gonna be shanked? <laughs> <laughs> Not the shank! And when you turn to the right to see the person come out of the kitchen, and it is, and it is, it is pretty much nighttime, so no one else is here. When you turn to the right, you see other people who, have, who you have passed start to move forward as well. You find yourself quickly surrounded. Got a problem, Dang. stinkhead can't face me alone. Dang violence, holy shit. Is that what you say? Yeah. Yeah. Wow would probably, let's see. Wow would probably just scoff. <sighs> Tough talk from someone who needed her boyfriend to help her. No. I'm sorry, but you really think that I. <laughs> you start laughing? She just, yeah, she just starts laughing. She's like, look, 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 look. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, you really think that we're dating? <laughs> Meanwhile, Fish has now doubled over in laughter. You're not. Because this is the first time anyone has ever, like, had that misunderstanding. Like, most people yeah. are perfectly fine at understanding yeah. that mm -hmm. she and Tricky are just besties. Uh, it, was, it would be Samuel, You're... wouldn't it? He'd be talking about Sam. Uh, I, I, was the, I was the one that gave you bark skin. That is true. <laughs> you're, not, you're not sure which one he's referring to, but it, it becomes clear that he's talking about Tricky very soon. Uh, because yeah. while you didn't actually support in the fight, you were there when the fight started. Uh, but yeah, he says, he says, you, he says, you, you, you're not fooling anyone. People have seen, people have seen that bug sneaking into your room at night. Ooh. Yeah, because he's my roommate. We're literally roommates. Uh, 
That sounds even worse. <laughs> I don't think I don't. No. I'm not buying it. All right, <laughs> these the, the, the guys continue to surround you. Buddy, are you are you? How thick is that skull of yours? Damn. You do realize I'm not into guys, right? Huh? <laughs> Jealous. <Damn>. Jealous. <laughs> I got a chance, but... Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you jealous? Do Are you, you say... jealous? So we're going to scratch the yep. thing about her not liking guys, and she's now going to yep. use this. Okay. She's going to use this to Leverage. make fun of him a little. Yeah, yeah. Give me a, uh, let's say, just a normal charisma check. <laughs> intimidation. <laughs> intimidation. I wouldn't call it intimidation. <laughs> I'd call it intimidation from fucking fish. <laughs> trying, to, trying to throw someone off here. Yeah. Would it be intimidation? Well, let's see. Or should I do? Charisma? I mean, Wild got that himbo side. I think it's imitation. Yeah. Oh, Wild is not a himbo. Wild is a himbo. No, no, no. Himbos are nice. Wild is a mean himbo. Yeah, thank yeah, you. He, yeah, he's just an asshole. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Himbos are nice. Himbo just, just means stupid and dumb. Himbo just means buff and dumb. No. Um, so you can <laughs> no, be nice no, himbo, no. or you can be mean the... himbo. Mm -hmm. Okay, himbos are also kind. That's usually yeah. part of the trifecta. That's himbos right, yeah. are three not things. Like, nah, kind, but he's a mean himbo. Dumb, dumb, dumb and, dumb and big. Dumb and big and not kind is typically like jock. Yes. Quote unquote. Yeah. True. 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 You can be a nice jock too. That's true. Well, then you're just a himbo. Oh, well, yeah, if you're a nice jock, you're a himbo. That's but just jock, how it is. But jock, <laughs> jock necessitates sports. Yeah, himbos can and, be sports. And then wild I mean, is a sport. I mean, okay, let's not, let's not, let's not waste so much time talking silly generalizations. Okay, love yeah, is not a himbo. Yes. Yeah, wild is definitely not a himbo. That. We could all, let's all agree on that. Yeah. Fine, I, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Wow, Wow says, me, scared of that bony freak? Not even Ooh. close. He doesn't have anything that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> a brain. And a person. All right. What would you do if Wao were to punch you? <gasps> Duck. Like to throw a punch. I would, I would try to duck. You would try to duck. Okay. Like, in that case, in duck that case, give, in that case, give me an insight check. Ooh. Let's go. Mm. Hey. All right. Wao approaches you as if to fight. The other people start to close in as well. But looking at how he's positioned, your insight gives you just a split second to realize that Wao is not while like while basically comes in as if to strike everyone else surrounds you too something like this and wao reels in as if to throw a punch you have a split second of insight a split second to analyze wao's position his reach you realize that wao is not in a position to actually hit you you realize that when he throws his punch he's going to stop just short of you. You have a split second to react based on this information. You know that if you stand perfectly still, Wallow's punch won't reach you. Okay, I'm gonna stand perfectly still. Okay. Wallow reels in. Wallow reels in and tries to get you to flinch by throwing a punch right in front of your face and you stand fearless to him. Let's go. For at this moment, you finally see him start to sweat a little bit. What the, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Don't you see what kind of position you're in? Yeah, I'm in the position of power. Ooh. You couldn't take me on just by yourself. You had to bring in all your little friends to back you up. I don't know. All right. I think I'm kind of the winner here. Give me an intimidation check. Let's go. Hey. Beat him up, girl. Beat him up. Oh, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. 
Give me a second. Do I still have one? Do you still have inspiration? Yes, you I do. I do. I do. Uh, inspiration, go. Go. Reroll. Oh? Come on, come on, come on. Hello. Oh! <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's fucking. Dumb. I I always I always need a minute to role play an asshole. I always need, I always need a moment to role play an asshole. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what were your exact words? Uh, it was, it was it was it was it was it was it was, it was like you gotta bring your posse. You gotta yeah. bring your lackeys to fight when you can't like, fight yourself. Do you, uh, yeah, he was like, do you understand the position you're in? And she was like, yeah, the position of power, because you couldn't fight me by yourself. You had to bring on all your cronies and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So, something along those lines. Okay. So she's basically calling yeah. him a coward. Because he is. He is. Like, she's he really four is. Foot three. <laughs> yeah. No one... Yeah, he leans in, and now, now he reaches out and, like, pokes you. As like like as it like pokes you on the shoulders, it's to like push you, like to shove and like be be aggressive. And he says, "No one tells me what I can't do." He looks to everyone else, who looks in as if they're about to start fighting you, and he's and he's and he's like, "Hold on, you you can go. I can take care of her. Ooh. I got something to prove now." <laughs> they start to back off. But yeah, you but still you have you. Friends are gonna leave. Now you that still... your friends are all leaving, yeah. now you feel like you can confess to me. All right. Ooh. <laughs> this is fish, spicy. The fish bats her right. lashes and does like a cutesy pose. All right. <laughs> at she this, just wants to torment him. <laughs> at this at at this point, you can see you can see his jaw almost start to crack, and uh, he stops he stops faking now. Uh, you would roll for initiative here. Let's go. Be yeah. his ass. Get his ass. Be his ass. Let's uh, go. Damn. Okay, holy. I forgot to. Did everyone just go silent all at once? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I I don't I don't want to I don't want to uh like waste a huge amount of time on what is basically just a back and forth barnyard brawl. No, Unless no, there's no. anything we specific this. you you want to see it? All right. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see All it. Right. Oh. All right. In that in in that in that case uh in that case go ahead and uh. Go ahead and uh, do your do your thing, because uh, you go first. Hmm, the thing is, Fish wouldn't want to throw the first punch. Because mm. it's not, it's because, like, when it comes to protecting other people, she's perfectly fine with throwing the first punch. But she likes to... Oh, I just got a text saying that... You're the coolest cat around. My can hear everyone. Hey! Oh, hi. Hello, hey. hello, Oof. hello, Miss. Uh, er, oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can always yeah, just no ready way. action to. Yep. Yeah. Dodge, Dodge is also a fine use of your of your action. And technically, he he technically threw the first punch by trying to like make you flinch and stuff like that. <laughs> I gotta ready your action. It's way cooler, cause like yeah. You can also just goad him to go ahead and do the first strike. <laughs> mm. Readying your action is basically that. True. It's super cool, cause okay. right after he attacks you, you attack right back. Wow. Okay, yeah, the counter see. strike. But Hold on, I'm going video. through and making sure that everything is working. I don't know why it does this to me every single time. Okay. All right. Let me... Can you hear me now? We still yes. hear you. Yeah. I, know, I know, I'm asking stream. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. 
cool. I can everyone, now be heard. Everyone go on Ursa's stream right now and, and tell oh, her that I, she can't be heard. I got a text saying I can't be heard. So nice. I am Yay. Oh, right. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to do... Hmm... <laughs> what if I just pulled the dagger? <laughs> oh, 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 you like gotta go to, to from, from so attention to I would I would I would, I would I would say I want you to roll a sleight of hand check to see if you could even sneak a dagger oh, into I, the tension. I, I'm not even like that was a joke. Oh okay. <laughs> I yeah. yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna go to the tension to custody. To be, to, be, to be fair, you do have cat's claws. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. This surprisingly hurt a lot. Okay. So, what were you saying when I got distracted about, oh, like... okay. So, you can hold your action to basically decide, hey, I'm going to attack him the moment after he attacks me. And that uh, basically makes it so you are still saving your action, like you're still using your action to attack, quote-unquote, but the okay. timing of it is different. I am going to roll insight, though, too, to just get an idea of what his first attack will be. Uh, he's going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. now, 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 despite being a sorcerer of the, uh, of the Iconodorm, you do know that this guy is an unapologetic jock. He's, he's, he's strong. His punches, they're not cat's claws, but they, they are powerful punches. Yeah, that's why I want to ready to myself to, like, dodge if yeah. needed. Dodge is an, dodge is an action. Dodge is an action if you want to do that. Okay, I will prepare to dodge. Okay, so you'll take Ooh, your action actually, to dodge. I'm going to uh, I'll prepare uncanny dodge. So when an attacker that you okay. you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you if he ends up hitting me. Okay, so in that case, you'll per you'll, you can ready an action to attack. And then after his attack, you decide whether you want to use uncanny dodge or uh, a counter attack. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, I mean, he's just going to go in and he basically reels his, reels his fist down. And you can tell he's not trying to stop short this time. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, let's see, light armor is probably okay. Would you wear armor to the tension? I feel like I probably just got him under my cloak. Okay, in that case, what's your armor class? Light. No, I mean like the number. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's real light, y'all. It's real light. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, that is a solid hit. He is going to go ahead and he swings once, and you duck under it, and then he lands another hook onto your side. You take four points of damage. <laughs> now, do you want to counterattack or use uncanny dodge? Uh... Hit him with the claws. Hit him with the claws. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with the claws. All right. So you counterattack. He lands the punch, and you hear uh, the cheering of his lackeys in the corners. <laughs> All right. What's your uh, what what's what's your attack roll? Oh my. So it would be strength. Would it be yeah. strength? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it would be strength for you. You have plus three yeah. to this. All right. To and then oh plus three to the yeah so you'd have 11. <laughs> all right well, just Wait. click on the plus three next to the cat's claws okay i got a little confused there for a second huh here we go that's how you do it all right cool. uh okay oh all right uh a 14 is not going to be enough to hit actually as you take your your you know he he sidelines you with this hook and it shakes you just a little bit causing you to not you know not get through his scales when you try to counterattack 
And you hear the, the lackeys cheering, oh, like, oh my god. They're gonna, he's gonna destroy her! Break her in half! Oh my goodness, jeez. Oh, what the school are we going to? All right. Jeez, okay. It is your turn again. Um. I. Now that he's swung gonna do the first cats. attack, you should just punch him with your claws. Yeah, I guess I'm Get gonna him. do more claws. claws again. Yep. Oh, that's definitely a hit. Oh. Nice. Uh, only, only three damage, but three All damage right. is still damage. You caught up. All right, you managed to Almost. reel back in with a slash of your own, however you describe it. Ah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh -huh. so, um, I nimbly yeah. swoosh to the side, duck under him a little bit, and. Yeah. Scratch right behind his knees. All right, hey. you manage to catch you manage to catch a claw in the knee, and he buckles slightly. And you hear uh, again the motivational speech: "Get back, get up, bro! You got this." He will strike back. Oh no, he crit. Unfortunately, punching has no dice, so even a crit is still only four damage. Okay. Oh wait, Yay. is it wait is it a punch? One plus strength mod? So you should have taken you should have taken five no. damage each time. No, it punches. Oh, yeah, it's strength mod? One plus strength mod. Yeah. Yeah, my mistake. In that case you've taken ten damage total. Okay. You need to take six more. What? No oh. no. It's it's ten total damage. Yeah, yeah. Six more from the four that sh that she took last time. <laughs> and I mean this 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 is pretty this is a pretty straightforward brawl, so not much happening here. Just let me know when you are below half your HP. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cast claws again. Get him. Go oh. For oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you, what? Use your reaction to uh, half that damage. Oh you yeah, you have yeah. yeah. any dodge, it's every turn. You can uh, do it every turn. Is it rounded down to half? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe so. So I think you would take, you would take three damage then, right? Means gain back two HP. Hey. Back at twenty-five. Okay, so back okay. to cat's claws. That's a hit. Flashing damage. Oh, you are both. You are both evenly wounded now. <laughs> Here comes the punch. A miss from Wao. Alright, it's your turn. <laughs> he doesn't like the fact that he's getting injured by a cat that's like half his size. Yeah. Hey. That's a hit. Four damage. Alright, Wao is losing. Let's go. Alright, now that Wao is losing, Wao is going and stop holding back. You can see him reel in for a punch. Uh, and this one, this one, this one looks like it might be quite painful. And it's going to land. Now, this one actually isn't as painful as you thought it would be, but it is very forceful. You take your five points of damage, and because uh, Wow reeled back quite so, quite so much, you see that the, the strike actually uh, pushes you. It actually, it literally pushes you like five feet away from him. Hmm. And uh, after he after he knocks you aside and you kind of stagger back a few feet, you can see him making moves and pointing his fingers. He motion he he curls his fingers uh, against you as if to taunt you to to face me. You know he does that Ooh. like gently like come here, get over here, get over here. Also, can I do the uncanny dodge? You can. So you only take Every you only turn. take you only so take uh take three damage. You do only take three damage. I like this. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna... Hmm. 
I'm going to yep. swoop back in. And... Cat's claws again. All right. So Cat's claws actually have you... a five-foot reach. Sorry, I'm a DM, I'm an asshole DM, and you stepped into my trap card. Oh. oh. So you, you step forward to approach for another Cat's Claw attack. And the moment you take a step to engage him, you can, you can see that the impact where Wa'o punched you starts to glow quite just, just briefly with a flashing white energy. And before you realize what it was, that energy explodes uh, and starts to send shockwaves around you. You take some oh, thunder yeah. damage now. Uh, Hi, that's that? not legal. Oh my god. You take 15 thunder damage. What the fuck? Oh my god. So, uh, you can half that because it's still you, you got your yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna half that. Oh my god. I, I uh, hate to say to I, hate, I, hate, I hate to say you cannot have this because this is not an attack which is what Uncanny mm. Dodge can avoid. So you're taking the full 15 damage here. Not, not the asshole give me, give, give me an Arcana check. Okay. You Ooh. have no idea what just hit you, but you can realize yeah. that WoW is cheating. Okay, also, I'm at 8 HP now. So oh, that's geez. way less than half okay. my max. Way less than half my max. <laughs> Yay! All right. Well, you are, you are in position for a Cat's Claw again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cat's claw. All right, do it. Oh, you are oh. weakened from that shock. Hey, Your attack doesn't quite land the mark. All right, in this case, I want you to give me either an acrobatics or athletics check. Your choice. Okay. I'm gonna do acrobatics. All right. I unfortunately, I somehow rolled higher than that. I'm swear I'm not what? cheating. What? Yeah, hear me out. What if you didn't? What if I didn't? What, what if you just decided yeah. not to have it roll sound, higher? It sounds a lot I like mean... someone. What if you decided to not kill me before we even get to the storyline? No, I'm not. I'm not killing you. I'm not killing you. Yeah. So, it sounds like someone needs to redeem help the players here. I don't. I'm not allowed to go to your stream. This is <laughs> I would. But I can't watch your stream. It, yeah, I think you, I think you can simply pause it, but you're right. You're right. Um, so Wao will basically. Give me a second. Wao will basically. Oh, you're yeah, gonna do it? Yeah. I mean, okay. you can pop out the chat. You don't have to technically watch the stream. You can pop out the chat. Yeah. Although there's nothing secret here. It's literally just two people yelling at each other. Yeah. Ah, uh, cows. Thank you for helping the players. <laughs> I'll re. I'll re. I'll re. I'll re-roll it. Oh my gosh. I, I literally rolled the exact same number. I'm so sorry. What the, what the fuck? fuck? Uh, bruh. I, <laughs> no, you... In, it's only inspira one. Inspiration only helps in one check at a time. It only, it's only a one-time thing. So Wao is going to move in for a punch. You reflexively try to dodge, but he fakes you out sweeps you by the leg and for, and basically shoves you knocks you prone Damn. since 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 you are now like basically like bleeding and clearly wounded he knocks you down and turns away and he's like we're fucking done here oh i'm angry know your place i want i want revenge so, are we so we're we're all oh. gonna gang up and kill Wow, right? Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he hurt you can, fish now. You, you can. Think, you I can. I think it would be really funny if he did end up with a crush on her and he just doesn't know how to handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd <laughs> that, that would that, that that would be funny. That would be quite funny. But uh, the the fight to Wao is effectively over. He's proven himself. And uh, my damn head. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, he's like, know your know your place. I'm better than you, and you suck. Sort of, m sort of message. But he's he's a bit cooler than that. <laughs> At least Damn. more suave than what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Jeez. But yeah, he he's he's now taking the opportunity to, to 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 end the fight. He doesn't want to kill you, obviously. 
He's not like a murderer. He's in love with you. He's not. Ooh. He's not. He's not a murderous villain. But he's like I. You know. I've show. I've showed you what I'm capable of. So don't fucking doubt me again. And he starts to walk away. And at this point, everyone else kind of just walks away too. Everyone kind of like passes passes by you. And um. And uh and yeah, they're they're just like you fucking showed her that lesson, boss. <laughs> Not the boss. Yeah, he's boss. he's the boss. He's the boss. Boss. Man, don't even look at me in your chat. <laughs> I have difficulty. I'm I no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. But I, I appreciate you. I also appreciate the five months. I mentioned it before, but I, I had my push to talk off. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Even though I just beat the shit out of one of our players. That I, is rude. It's really weird. I was looking at like looking at the help the players and then i went to type and then i looked back and it was fucking gone <laughs> damn but i just scrolled down and i was like oh it's, it it's okay fish fish take into account that you do have one inspiration by the end of this at least yay and you know what i'll give you another inspiration for being a good sport about it <laughs> cool so i now have two inspiration you do have noise, two inspiration noise, noise, noise. You finally, you finally return to your dorm after this fight. You have a moment to, to contemplate the battle you had. Thinking about it more, you realize what had happened. You realize that Waho has a ring on his hand. A, uh, 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 a, sh uh, a sharp, sil a spiked silvered ring. Which, in a very liberal definition, would count as a weapon. And you realize that, using his subtle spell, he cast Booming Blade on it. Mm, okay. So that when oh, he struck you, he sheathed you with booming light so that if, when you moved on your turn, you would take thunder damage. Oh, yeah. So but using a subtle spell, spell using a, a subtle spell, using a subtle spell and a hidden weapon, he, he, he cheated and hit you with a spell uh, that you I'm weren't aware of. Uh, is a coward and a cheater. What a bitch. be me. <laughs> And be me, to, to be to be fair, to be fair, if you the players came up with that plan, you would be like, that's so cool. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent. But no, he's a cheater. Oh, absolutely. But he's a he's a cheater and a coward. Yep. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's absolutely. literally four foot two. <laughs> <laughs> Given the option, I would not do that. I mean, I probably would have done that. I would have done Granted, it. Granted, in an actual proper fight against a yeah. monster. Dryad. True. I'm in this photo and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it won't be like he's an asshole with the booming blade secret. It's me, it's me fucking being Rick being like, stop booing, I know what makes you cheer. <laughs> <laughs> but that is where that scene ends. I get to uh, I'm gonna be his ass. the re appearance of my injured friend to our dorm room oh. that, 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 that is definitely uh something that you would account for uh tricky and you can play out uh i can bring you to the dorms or it can just be theater of the mind uh i don't think we need to go to the dorms i mean it's just we, the dorms. if we want to see the dorms i don't know at least yeah at least you can see what the dorms look like let me get tricky there i kind of want to see what the dorms look like Get fish there. I can get wherever I want. That is true. Ooh. You're such a show off. Right? Wow. I like it's something that we can set up for everyone if we want to. Welcome to the Ultimate Academy dorms. I don't know if I've ever showed you this map in particular. Nope. You have not. You nope. have never but, shown us this. But this this is the Ultimate oh. Academy dorms. This is one. So the Ultimate Court, the Ultimate Academy dorm is a tall square building with many floors. One floor for each of the various um each of the various wings mm -hmm. uh you know the bottom floor includes our 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 divinity wings or sorry the bottom one is for barania the sec the one above that is divinity the one above that is discipline and then finally your top floor is arcana hey top of the top so let's go being, so uh being the person who set up the room uh wildfish your 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 room would be on the uh third floor each each dorm itself is relatively similar in structure. They have their own wing-like flourishes, but I've put some people around just because, you know, 
people are reading books or attending to their rooms or playing pool, billiards and stuff. Um, because you chose the royal dorm, you actually have quite um, you actually have quite a, a spacious accommodation here. You are in that's not you, that's tricky. Why <laughs> did I put tricky here? <laughs> tricky can do whatever tricky wants. Uh, yeah. where is fish? You uh what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 remove. I, 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 I remove. I remove tricky. Go. But yes, you, you would be in this corner. These two are your dorm. These two are sort of your royal rooms. They have a few spaces for guests. A nice accommodating table, fireplace access. They're right next to the the um you know the entertainment places. So this is where you find yourself. And tricky. Uh, actually, let me see. Um. Let's see. How how rude do I want to be? Oh, the rudest. Oh. No. Because because rumors have spread ever oh. since you and Fish decided to to share a dorm room together. All right. You want you want me approaching? Do you want, no. Do you I think. Oh, you're time? approaching me. <laughs> oh. Earlier in the approach. Well, I'm approaching. Mm -hmm. This is making me stutter. think of the of the. Um, still from I mean, the, I, the I, one I'm getting from JoJo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel I like I, I, don't, I don't know. You're coming closer. I, I don't know. Let me like give me a safe word or something. I feel I feel I feel I'm getting cold feet whenever I have to be an asshole and role play like just hard, just straight bullying. I mean, we oh, we, we, I, we I know it's okay. <laughs> someone someone like draws the, the someone draws a deck of cards. It came out and it just has a it just has a sign that says keep going. <laughs> 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 it's a sign, man. It's a sign. Well, I what guess if the deck do? of cards tells me to keep going. What does this do? Stop! <laughs> oh my stop. god. What, 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 what are you doing? Is this a, are these are these the safety cards? Yes, these are the safety cards. What the fuck? That's, I'm Never sorry. That's, a, that's, 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 that's actually a thing. Wow, that's oh, so wow. good. That's really kind of... That. Well, that's, damn. That's, that's, that's almost creepy. That's a built-in feature of Roll20, but it's also really cool. I like, I like that. that. I like that's that a cool. lot. Okay. So, I guess in that case, uh, Tricky, you have been returning uh, for your home for Ooh. the night. Um, Can we get rid of these random cards on the... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of them. I have to learn how to use the system. You can just delete them. Um, considering considering this, uh, you're gonna make your way here, and the, the the people here in the discipline dorm, not not being familiar with you as the Baranian dorm, kind of see you and they they're intimidated just naturally by your presence. They kind of back away. Okay. I just give them a little. Wait, yeah. I, like, take stock in my head. Like, it's very clear that I'm trying to remember things that I've been taught about how to socialize with people. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if people are intimidated, you... I give them a little wave. <laughs> they, uh, give me a... Just give me a straight charisma check. Okay. This is gonna be great. Okay. Exactly the, average. The one, the one, the one across the table from you gives a gives a, 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 a just raises his hand and gives a shy wave. The rest avert their eyes. Hmm. What would, what would, hmm, what would, what would fish say? Do I have <clears throat> something in my teeth? Oh, no! <laughs> you you do you, you ask a question to one of the people here? All of them. Uh, when they do I have to get my teeth? Yeah, they, when they, they all look away from me. Uh, uh, they, 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 they stammer for a second. They, they open their mouths, and but something seems to come out. They. They they resort to shaking their heads. No, they they <laughs> glance over to your door, and then look away back at you down to the oh. floor. 
Oh, is fish already here, or...? N you don't know. Oh, okay. Those when you glance- when you- when you glance at your door, Why you notice there's- around? When you glance <laughs> at your door, when you glance know, at your- I'm yeah. in the corner. You belong you, in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> kitty- kitty corner. When you glance at the door, you realize there's a- there, there's- there's a sheet of paper hastily nailed to the door. Oh, no. I approach the door. What is the sheet of paper? It's a simple- it's a simple sheet of loose-leaf parchment. In it, I feel so rude, fucking saying this. Do it. You, 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 you look at the you look at the door and you see the the loose leaf of paper. It's written, scribbled. It's hard to make out for a second, but as you get closer, you can finally make it out. It's uh, you know, just you're reading and you read it in common, and it just says "bug fucker." This is high school. This is high school. <laughs> no, sorry, welcome to high, high school. school man. Yeah, oh. Say this it again, it. I blink. <laughs> Say it again, I blink. <laughs> 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 Can you say that again? I was washed. I was walking my washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one clipped that. No, do it, do it, do it. So what? What do you roll, do? I need you, to you, roll, let's see if I understand this. Oh. Sure, because uh, it is it is a it is a written language. Um, no, I, I understand the written language. I understand common. I need oh, to roll if you, I understand the, 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 the connotation. Sentiment. Mm. Yeah, the sentiment. Um, uh, eleven. Does he know what that word is other than just a, a oh, swear? Oh yeah, absolutely. Does he know what it means other than just a swear? Yeah. Uh, it's it, maybe. Uh, let me go ahead and I feel roll. Like Fish has Hold on. Taught him that word, but not the actual. Yeah, of you it. you probably <laughs> swore a lot. A swear. <laughs> so in in this in this case, uh, tricky. Give me a nature check. Ooh. Well, okay, oh. so I'm going to do that, but before I do, I want to go over something that is slightly related. Yeah. Uh, Thrykreen do swear in Thrykreen, but they yeah, don't, absolutely. they don't have, like, swears that equate to other words. It, they're more just, like, sounds of frustration that are very... Yeah, they're, 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 ex they're exclamations of... Expletives. Yeah. yeah. So there aren't really swears in his language that actually mean things yeah so if you say something's a swear tricky's just like oh that's its one and only purpose yeah mm -hmm. okay okay so you're saying the thrykreen don't know the power of the word fuck really. <laughs> they don't it's many facets <laughs> power word fuck is the new spell <laughs> Damn. I don't know how I feel about this now. It's it. Don't worry. It, it's it's like bandage. It's like way more. It's oh my goodness. They, they 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 missed fuck off. It's a fuck off spell. I mean, Jesus can I learn Christ. this spell like, like out of no, character? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Honestly, okay. if you leave out the off, it just sounds like a spell that a bard would use. That's what I'm trying to correct it. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, with 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 that nature check, I will say that you have you have had, uh, you have had, um, you you have had. Tr How do I phrase this? You have been taught by the students in Barania about like all the different, uh, like all different things of nature, all the beasts, all the mm. like like you're being like taught like first grade biology, you know. Like, you get taught that, and you go up the same. And eventually, like, the topic of reproduction comes up in animals. But it's taught so formally. Reproduction. Uh, uh, you know, like, um, you know, family making, things like that. It, they use such sensitive terms that no one has used that word to refer to that act. And um, while you've gotten, like, normal books and read it, and you're sure you've seen that before... You aren't able to make that connection. I'm gonna turn around, and uh, as soon as you turn to look at everyone else, they start to shuffle away. Yeah, I, I figured. I ask. I'm going to. Can I make a, a like a reflex to connect to 
all of them telepathically all at once before they escape. Yes. Okay. Uh, you just do so. It's it's easy to do. You don't need to make a check. Okay. They all hear in their heads. What does this mean? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Roll intimidation check. Oh, oh, man, man Angie. They, they fucked up oh. now. Man, I really want to use. I really want you, to. You, 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 you do intimidate them for sure. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, you aren't intimidating them into explaining it to you. Most of them, some of them walk, walk, walk faster and hurry to their doors. Some of them end their connection immediately. I want you guys to know that that wasn't the voice I intended to bring out. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, I was going for normal tricky, and it kind of just, you know. You were straight Morbin. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. It's Morbin time. All right. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, take, I take it off the door, and I go you, inside. Yep, you find the common room empty uh, otherwise. And, uh, yeah, you make it inside. And I'm gonna say probably about an hour and a half later, Tricky would arrive. Uh, fish. and sorry, fish. I keep doing that. I keep fucking doing that. <laughs> yeah, like nonstop. They, they literally so, are the same so, person so, this morning. So, someone redeem, someone redeem, help the DM learn to fucking differentiate names. <laughs> All right. Tricky, you have arrived. You are quite wounded your legs are still shaking from the again. thunder just, energy did it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh not the slam with the oh. oh he angy he angy <laughs> twice Five in ten. a fucking row <laughs> okay the fish loses 10 hit points. you arrive <laughs> oh. you arrive you are wounded your legs are still shaking from that booming blade DM takes you, five points of emotional you, damage. You, you <laughs> feel however how you feel however you feel. Uh, and the only thing you make a mental oh, note of, great. aside from okay, I'm getting cooked here. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how hand it tastes. <laughs> My hand is tender now. <laughs> oh no, not the tender hand. Is it well seasoned? No, <laughs> I, no wait, I'm wait, a wait. fucking I'm a stinky panda. <laughs> Are you sure you're not the, a fish? The, the, the fucking desk win at the strength check. <laughs> I smell like maple syrup. Why? Okay, it's not stinky. Wait, oh, oh. it's not stinky. That's I don't know how to feel about yeah, it. Yeah, but it's, it's, maple. It's, been, it's, been, it's been left in the I, sun for too long. Anyway, I, moving on. I, Are you what, Canadian? Why? Let's get these two he's in the same he's room. Trying to do it why? To saves. I'm failing. <laughs> Let's get these two in the same room. <laughs> my, my, See the 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 the, the email that I have in my in the Discord is basically how I'm feeling right now to this whole conversation. Just <laughs> loading, fucking loading screen, like what? Yep. What? Okay. Thanks. It's okay. Pity me, please. It's better than the alternative. I mean, <laughs> it's either pity or bully. There's no in between with you guys. That's right. But bullying is funnier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bullying Sorry, is Dad, definitely we funnier. Love you. Okay. You're 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 at your dorm and you're you have eight hit points and you 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 you, you smell like crisp burnt hair because of thunder. Ew. Oh no. There, that's my version of bullying. Uh, you 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 are making your way there. You know Tricky Tricky's usually back at his dorm by now. Um, you might feel however you feel about that fight. Maybe you're plotting revenge. Maybe you can't wait to tell Tricky about your encounter and start plotting a, a get back plan with him. But um, you do make the odd, uh, odd observation that the common area of the discipline dorm is suspiciously uh, empty. Ooh. Everyone seems to have returned to their rooms. And it's like, it's like the weekend. Everyone should be partying. What do you do? I think I make note of the fact that it's very odd, but right now, Fish is exhausted and mm. in a lot of pain. Yeah. So she just wants to take care of her wounds. Maybe take a nice warm bath. 
She doesn't even have the energy right now to think about how much she hates Wow. Yeah. She's just very sleepy. You, you, there are, um, there are some, uh, rooms dedicated to bats. Uh, you can see them scattered around here. They're usually next to the lavatories as well. Okay. Without yeah, going well, I mean, into... First, without... she would have to go actually get stuff from her door. Oh, true. Probably anyway. want a towel and stuff. Okay. So, I, I think you're able to control your own token, but you're able to move through the door. There's nothing stopping you. Um... Roll a perception check, I guess. Perceive me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tri Tricky's that fucking sneaky. No, I you're, I you're. Just, I did say I took the thing, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, then so. Anything she would just notice, like a nail hole in the door. That's what I was. That's 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 what I was thinking. You might notice the hole that the nail left, but alas, you are too preoccupied. The door is unlocked. You can easily let yes. yourself in. You see, uh, just go. are the lights on? No, of course not. All right. Well, there's... you know, tri oh, you know, Tricky's here, but you can't vision. see. Wait, you you know, you... Dear, dear darkness, then. It's 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 the nighttime. <laughs> you 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 know you know Tricky's here. Tricky's always here by now, but you can't see him. Yeah, I am invisible if you're using dark vision to see me in darkness. So. Yeah, I'm not That's... trying to see you particularly. Yeah. It's more so just to see where everything else is, so I don't trip and right. fall. And I yep. Using 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 your like... dark vision, you're able to like navigate your way around the room and find the drawer where all your spare clothes are. What would I have to roll to into it on a scale of one to thirty-three? How painful. This creature is. Or on a scale of one to thirty-three, no. it, it is it is worth noting. Uh, you do you do see fish walk into the room and she is like badly wounded you can tell like her she, her her you can see that like her fur is matted with with dirt and maybe just a little bit of blood right. um she, she's she, she's 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 instinctively holding on to sore parts of her body if you want to know the exact details you can roll a medicine check from the uh Top bunk in the corner, you hear. You are injured. Yeah. Just a little. And at this point, I'm just kind of rifling through things. It's, well, it... Uh... Um, there is a small flutter of paper as, um... Tricky gets down off the bed, and also a, a little piece of paper follows um, and sort of lands here-ish. Now, out of curiosity, is anyone else here in the discipline dorm? I think not, right? Uh, um, you're you're an Arcana. No, I, I, yeah, I, I believe yeah. I believe you are uh, Arcana. Apis is Arcana. Realis is Arcana, and Rucktuck is Divinity. Yeah. Okay. No love for Baranian dorms. <laughs> I'm, in uh, I'm in the Barania dorm, quote unquote. You're you're in the Barania wing, but you don't have right. a dorm there. Yeah, this is my only way to escape. Yeah, this is your one way to get out of the those wretched halls. Yeah, those wretched eyes. Um, I would like to cast cure wounds on the cat. Okay. Uh, without 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 even seeing where it's coming from, fish, you you are doing whatever you're doing on your bed or whatever, and you see a glowing, bright, uh, I want to say blue light or whatever color Tricky's magic tends to be. It's a uh, sort of a greenish. Okay, you see you see a t you see a, a a light teal wave pass from seemingly nowhere and surge forth to you it's well it would be shocking if you didn't know where you didn't know who was casting the spell but suddenly you're feeling much more rejuvenated you're still uh, you still obviously feel a bit sore but you can walk fine now and you've stopped you stopped bleeding a while ago but 
you can feel your headache is gone. Oh, thank you so much for that. Oh, I really needed that. Wow, such an asshole. <laughs> what asshole? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was a re oh. that, that that was never mind. That was a reference to something else. Yeah, I don't I just, I just said what an asshole in a in a silly voice, that's all I said. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! Oh, I what an asshole? Okay, Mickey. Like, asshole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is Sorry, I was fast and furious. Okay, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'll show you the reference later. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, so Fish is just like, oh, he, he ganged up on me, and he he had four people. I was walking back from detention. He had left her a little before me, and they just pop up out of nowhere, coming out of different buildings. They were waiting for me. So, if if you trace back your thoughts, you can you can imagine where they came from. Three of them came through different doors, while Wow and one person was hiding behind a tree. <laughs> well. Did all of them fight you at once? No. Because I called Wao a coward. And I told him that he was kind of pathetic for feeling like he needed four people to help him fight me. Because, I mean, I kind of is pathetic. Like, I, I'm small. He's big. Mm. Like, does he really need four people? Like, is he yes. that scared of me? I mean, I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Like, it, it's pretty, it's pretty neat to think that he's that intimidated, that he needs a whole gang of people to take on me. But, yeah, so he ended up telling them to go away, and they did. And so then we fought, and I heard him, but then he hit me with, he, he was wearing this ring, and it was sharp and pointy, and he cast a spell on it that when it made that gash in my shoulder, I moved forward and then it just like exploded and zapped me. While, while Fish is uh, like going on this tirade, I'm gonna cast another Your Wounds. Yeah, go for it. Uh, tricky, <laughs> roll an Arcana check uh, with advantage. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it, you 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 hear you hear uh, you hear uh, fish describe the spell that was cast, but you can't place a name on it. Yeah, M magic's not particularly a tricky specialty. Yeah. At least not arcane magics like the ones that wizards and sorcerers and stuff cast. You're pretty good with you're okay with primal magics. And. Technically, it, psionic powers are in Thrykreen blood, but, like, not all of them. Yeah. But that's not magic. That's nope. weird. You have been you have been regaled this tale of g mm. getting bullied by the bully. What a surprise. Do you feel like it was an unfair fight? Yeah, well, I mean, not at first, after the other guys backed off. Like, I definitely think I could take on Wa'o one, one, one on one. I mean, we were, like, equally hurt until he cheated, because he's a coward, and he's a dirty cheater, and he brought a weapon when we, we were just going to have a fist fight. That's what I thought it was going to be, and that's what it started off as. And then he used magic against me, and that's the only reason why he won. I think he was scared, because he knew that I was going to win. Can I just say just sorry? One of my crewmates dropped. Huh? One of your what? Wait, what? One of my crewmates. If you heard somebody else talking, saying hi to George, who's my lizard, that was one Aww. of my crewmates. I'm sorry. I didn't even hear. Oh can Ruck Tuck? Ha can Ruck Tuck have a pet lizard? I'll let it happen. <laughs> I mean, that would be really I funny. have a pet lizard. Yeah. But yeah, sorry. Uh, 
I have. So for anyone who does not know, I do in fact have crewmates. I'm not alone up here. So sorry. I will be right back. I feel you. I I am I am I am in a similar boat. I am beholden to the park ranger. Yes. Mm. I will be right back. Mm. All right. Well, what do you want to do then? Is this I your fight a... or our fight? <laughs> when he says that part, she starts to like feel mm -hmm. weird. Yeah, oh. it's getting it's getting to you. Yeah. You flash back to Wallow's words, anime style. <laughs> I wish um, I had my I wish I had my echo thing so I could like repeat the words exactly. Right. <laughs> I think this is just gonna have to be my fight. I appreciate Ooh. it, but um, it's 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 fine. It's it's nothing. A dark and edgy road road lies ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to make things awkward. Leave. By that telling is him that people think that they're dating. And she doesn't know about the note because it's still dark and she was yeah. too busy to notice the paper flutter down. Um, I, I believe that it's the better choice for your own personal growth. You are strong, <laughs> but clearly. Clearly what? You can't beat a cheater yet. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Not him being it's fancy. Words. It's words. Right. <laughs> Don't fight words, man. Can I duke it out? Uh, Tricky raises his fist very playfully, but you can't see this. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no answer from Tricky. I'll fight you if you want. We gotta train you up for the next time, at least. Yeah, but I think I just. I need a bath. I'm covered in blood and dirt, and it's it's. I smell a little burnt. Um. Yeah. Yes, my my antennae are getting every last whiff of it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I I will be back shortly, and then I will probably start trying to figure out what to do i definitely want to beat him up i i will get him back but i need to get clean first clean. so do it. fish grabs her things and there is a out... there is like an audible scuttling as you leave as <laughs> you <laughs> sneaks back to his place all right so as here's she one leaves, thing she notices that it's it now like processes a little more how weirdly empty the common area is. Just like, well, the... huh? Yeah. Damn. Did everyone go to bed early? Is there an event going on tonight that I didn't know about? I usually care about all those. They usually have flyers up too. Huh? We'll have to ask around. All right. What I want to say is, you you take your bath, you're nice and clean. You maneuver your way to the to the to, to to your to your dorm room. You get prepared. You get a nice, long, relaxing sleep for the weekend. The morning after, when you wake up and stretch your legs and and get ready for the day, it is bright. You can now clearly see everything around you. It is now very obvious the sheet of paper that lies fluttered along the along the floor. Pretty is gone. By the way, he's he's an oh. early early out of here guy. That is true, because you don't need to uh, actually sleep. That. So, you 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 might turn to see where Tricky is. Notice that Tricky's gone, and then from there, notice the slip of paper at the foot of Tricky's bed. It a a a, a, a small piece of parchment with a with a hole stuck through the top half. It appears blank until you pick it up and read what is on the other side. And it says exactly what it says last time. 
No, you don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Say it again. Wait, what you happens? Have to be I'm back now. No, nah, we we just got to the part where where um where fish read the bug fucker note. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that note for a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what did Fish say? Oh, she just went, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my like, god! Why do people think that? She takes it and she crumples it up. Throws it across the room. <laughs> she, just, she just goes to like the, to like, like the Ultimate Academy Square, just like with a megaphone, like, I'm gay! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like, weirded out by the fact that people think that she and Tricky are getting it on when they're literally just like to her they are clearly just best friends it's so obvious together. how does why does like, no one else see it that way right like just because people hang out all the time it doesn't mean that they're dating and she's just like what have we ever done that seemed romantic <laughs> right <laughs> and also she's kind of wondering like because she's never really shown any proclivity towards really anyone. I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're, uh, until, like, Pandora, yeah. but... You're, you're a second year, right? Yeah. So you've only had one year to admire Pandora so far. Yeah. She, she <laughs> would have so been she's... a third year at that point, so she was there since the beginning. You already had your sights on someone. Mm-hmm. And because you've never approached her in any way... And you didn't have any other targets. It's not clear to anyone where you lie on any spectrum. <laughs> yeah. You know what's absolutely heartbreaking? Mm. What? Probably the like occasional thought of like, how do I stop people from thinking this? Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Now you have to clear your name. How does that work? How do we? You can chew on you can chew on that for a second while we move on to the well, next scene. Well, I know scene. what I'm gonna do, <laughs> but not gonna. Not gonna say yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. All it's, right. I have my plan, but Ooh. it's my plan, and it's, I have it. It's exciting. Way. It's a surprise tool. All right, move on to our next scene. In this scene, I'm gonna bring Apis out again. Also, I'm just Is gonna say okay? no one's gonna like it. <laughs> and not especially not me, I guess. <laughs> No one's gonna like it. <laughs> All right, let's move to back to the. We're gonna go to the second floor. Or and doesn't have any fucking clue what's going on. <laughs> and we are we are finding ourselves in the botanical club, the gardening club. And um, let's see, how do we do this? I'm going to have, cause you uh did some carousing with Snuff, right? Yes. So, um, you guys are probably hanging out together even before uh, going to the gardening club. Just talking about stuff and enjoying time together. Yeah. Um, I know, I know not anyone else is, I know not everyone else is in the gardening club, but just like before, feel free to place yourself in, 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 a, in a spot in the scene if you'd like to be involved. I know in particular, uh, Samuel, you haven't been involved in anything. Yeah, I feel bad I would, about that. Yeah, I would like to... I don't have a token Ooh. to push to place right, down. Right, right. Let me let me do that for you. <laughs> oh, Samuel's gonna be in the scene. How like safe? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's 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 safe to say that any druid would at least visit yeah, the garden yeah. at some point. So, uh, it has been uh what like two weeks now in the downtime, so you guys have gotten fa fairly friendly. I'm re referring to Snuff and, and Apis. Um, and the Whistle Thistle is coming along nicely, along with uh, your own personal project, the Elderberries, Apis. They're almost ready for harvest on your end. Whistle Thistle takes quite a bit longer to, to work up, to, to really, you know, flourish. Uh, but Snuff is really liking how, it's, how it is so far. Um, so, you might run into Samuel... Let me actually put you guys at Samuel first. I mean, that makes Samuel a stalker. Sam, where are you? Where'd you go? 
You just you moved. Where'd you, oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> so He's a you might take some classes yeah. in ninja apparently. You might run into Samuel on your way to the gardening club. And uh, Snuff would Snuff also being a bit of a druid would recognize Samuel, although they haven't really met and discussed much together, they, of course, m meet each other, they greet each other. Um, you notice that Snuff goes up to Samuel and says, oh, Samuel, and then she recites something. I, I'm very bad at butchering foreign stuff, uh, so it's hard for me to do it, and I don't want to offend anyone. So I'm just going to say she says something foreign. She says something that you don't understand. It seems to be in a language you don't know. Samuel, you know that she gives you a traditional tribal greeting in your druidic language. Uh, hello, hello. Am I am I am I gone? Samuel? Am I dead? Nope, you're good. Samuel, you you there? Sam is muted. No, Samuel, we're Fuck, just I here. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're no, 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 dead. And I forgot to unmute. I am That's okay. <laughs> That's why push the talk is that, that's why push the talk is OP. Yeah, oh, it yeah. is. It really is. Uh alright. And I'll go ahead and respond back in the same Hey, thing. I, I wanna say everyone blame my boy Sig because I wanna give him a big thanks for the uh help the DM redeem. Oh fuck. Anyway, move on, go on. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, and I ask, uh, how, how are they? Actually, I was writing shit down. What did you say? Sorry. Anyway. Oh, my <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Oh, now it's my, it's now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. Shit the M. Shit the M. Shit the M. <laughs> what, what did you say? Uh, I'm sorry. I was so excited to write down the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and while talking the same uh, Druidic uh, language, yeah, I'll go and uh, return the uh, the hello and ask, "How are they doing?" Oh, she's she she beams, and from here she uh, she continues in common for the for the sake of Apis, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and she's and she says, "Oh, I'm doing wonderfully. The whistle thistle's pr I'm pretty much halfway done, and it's going to be you know it's a great season this year." I, now that I'm going to have one, I finally might get into the music club. Oh, all right. That's good. All right. I, I'm hoping for the best for you, then. Are you going to be joining us today? I know you're not officially in the club, but we always like to see more druids. Uh, I think I might be. I might just... I <laughs> uh, need some uh, ingredients for my uh, practices. Good. You can, you can probably help Apis. I think his elderberries are about to bloom. They need a delicate touch. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, for sure. I can help you out. Are you saying I don't have one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. It's a learned trait, and she kind of giggles a bit. She's teasing <laughs> you. Oh, boy. It's a fight all over the school, I swear. <laughs> Well, with that said, she's eager to move on to the gardening club. All right. Let's get to it. You have a, you have a moment to talk with uh, Samuel, if you'd like. Apis and vice versa. Oh. All right. So, uh, what was your name again? I, didn't, I don't think I catched that. It's Apis. Apis. Uh, you said you said, uh, so you have like elderberries you had growing? Yeah, I figure I try my hand at this uh, gardening stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's always it's always nice to go ahead and grow something from just a seed. It's actually quite relaxing, to be honest. Oh, it is very much so. Okay, at this point, you guys will have made it to the um, to the gardening club. Feel free to position yourself. However. When you go inside, something is not right. 
where you would expect to see all of the various colorful and 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 and, and unique uh, floral specimens on display instead. And oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh no! There you go. Uh, I, I I'm not doing it because I'm bad. I'm bad with the. Uh, with things so it's not it's not just green circles but instead <laughs> you have just a collection of pots all the same with all the same seedlings inside they've been stripped of their individuality and snuff is like standing there in shock oh. uh like what happened and uh and Ormanta, the leader of the gardening club, sees this immediately and like tries to intercept. And it's like, oh, there you are. You're a bit, you're a bit late in the chatterboxes. Uh, I w wanted to tell you earlier, but I missed you. I, I didn't have a chance to tell you in the last class. There's been a change of plans ever since um. Ever since a, a, a royal order, uh, unfortunately, he starts to stammer. He seems clearly nervous. Wait, he. He explains, he, he explains, he explains there's been a royal decree and a shortage has occurred. They desperately, desperately need, and he mentions a plant called Dreamweed. E through, through a royal mandate, the gardening club will all be making only Dreamweed this year. Haha, <laughs> weed. <laughs> roll, yeah. for, people, for people interested, roll a nature check. Yep. Okay, nice. you guys are both well well equipped with your nature skills. You know that dreamweed is um, is a common plant. It's not a narcotic or an anti or or, or depressant <laughs> or anything like like weed, but you do know two particular qualities about it. As its name suggests, dreamweed is a very uh, dreamweed when uh, ground in a certain way uh, does provide um, like therapeutic properties and scent that are conducive to sleep it sort of acts as a sort of melon uh melatonin is that what it is melatonin i think so uh it sort of acts as a as a as a as a natural supplement to melatonin and that helps you sleep um but you also know due to your expertise in nature that uh and this is particularly noticeable for you apis that the uh that the more the more advanced use of dreamweed is that when burned to ash and used as incense, it is a it is a quite common and potent uh, quite common and potent component for divination rituals. Oh, that. Uh. So. But yeah. He's, but yeah, Ed Romanta continues to apologize and says, I know you guys were working so hard on your personal projects, but a decree is a decree. We had to put those on hold. We got them in the greenhouse, but the teachers will take care of them for you. I mean, how come... I mean, the dreamweed's such a common plant, so why are we having... Why are you having them uh, grow it? Uh, well, you know, I wish they told me, but it's, I guess there's just a shortage. It's a divination component, isn't it? Um, let me roll a nature check for our pal Ed Armanta. Do you, you say that out loud, yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Ed Armanta, his, 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 um... It's not like he's like incredibly shocked, but you see his brow raise a bit, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you're right. You're very astute, Apis. I see the club has been uh, making an impact on you." <clears throat> it helps when you have someone that uh, gives you a few pointers. As I'm looking over to Snuff, you you pay Snuff a, a kind compliment, and you can normally she would beam back and maybe tease something back at you, but now she looks depressed she's clearly not okay with having her personal project removed is there any way that we could 
may potentially hold on to our personal projects in our dorms. Uh, well, your elder Barry, uh, roll a persuasion check. Actually, give me, give me a persuasion check. Are you are you gonna ship the um, heck out of that? Uh, hold up, Re it's rewind time. It's rewind time. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, that's better. It's not great, Rep but it's better. Is the name of my character. Uh, so, so hi Trilla. Uh, Edor Manta would would nod and says, "Your your elderberries, they're practically in bloom. If uh, if you want, you can bring them to your room, and you can probably take care of it. Um, you might look to uh, you might look to to snuff, uh, but she doesn't look any happier to hear those news. You hear her mutter something along the lines of." Won't help. The greenhouse is the only place where it can grow. It has the right conditions. If I bring it back to my dorm, it'll. Edermanta kind of picks up on this and is like, "Why, why, why don't you run along and get started? I, I'll, 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 you know, tend to you." And here's he gives you a, a, a sheet of paper. Um, it seems to be an excerpt from uh, a botanical research book that goes over how to grow dreamweed. And he's like, this will get you everything you need to get started, Apis. Although, considering what you know, I'm sure you don't need it. And uh, Samuel, it's actually incredible that you're here with us today. I hear you have great the green thumb. Would you care to join us? Uh, sure. But... Uh... I'm also here to go ahead and do a little, um, I guess, what you would call shopping it, for my, some practices. I'm doing very I? well. Ah, Thank you. if you need materials, come see me in the other room. I'm not in he this scene. He moves so. you over to, uh, to this room, which contains storage materials for dried herbs and such. All right. Let's see. Okay. Well, aside from that, sn snuff soullessly marches to her table begins going through the steps um it is a royal decree and apis knowing your background you know that those things are they're pretty solid you uh, might rack you might rack your head for a way to cheer her up but none comes to mind at the moment uh the only thing that's really going through his mind is divination divination why why, why oh, divination? Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yes, They're it, trying it, to scry. It, yes, it becomes, you know, knowing, ra ra racking your, your big, smart spy brain, it becomes a bit more clear to you why these divination rituals, these divination components are both in such short supply and desperately needed right now. That makes me wonder if I could potentially learn, learn scry. Uh, I gotta double check that. Uh, uh divination, scrying, spells like that are absolutely among the list of wizard spells. What, what it is saying, a Vicky? fifth level spell. God damn it! Yeah, if you were if you were level seven, if you were at least level if you were level seven, you were fourth year, you could learn divination. Which is the, right. the next best thing. Or you could try Augury. Augury is, I think, second level. Anyway, sorry, Tricky, what were you saying? Nothing. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's a, it's a, bit, of a, it's a bit of a shame at the moment. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, due to the Royal Decree, there's not a whole lot to be done. Um, give me a Charisma check if you want to try to cheer uh, Snuff up as best you can. Uh, sure. Hi. Well, okay, that's just saving throws. Never mind. Uh, I'll just give it a simple crispy chick. Hey. You have you have four charisma. All oh, right. Heard. Then how is your persuasion six? That's weird. Change uh, your persuasion P plus seven. 
Hmm, that is a good question. I'll, you know uh, what? You, pro you probably have a way to increase your saving throw specifically. Oh, yeah, I do have a plus one on saves. I'm actually good yeah, at Yeah, that explains it. So it's plus three on charisma Too and then plus hard. one on the save. So it should be a 23, which is still great. Um, they can't hear me right you, now. Anyway, so it's uh, you do your best. I mean, it takes a while, but she eventually gets into the rhythm of growing, you know, of growing something. And even though it's not what she was hoping to grow and not anywhere near the sort of creative freedom that she's normally used to, you do at least, you know, get some of the spirit back into growing it, and she's no longer on the verge of tears. You do, you do, you do, you do share a bit of, you do, you do get her to open up a little bit about sharing her thoughts, and she's definitely wanted to talk to her dad about it. She's a bit of a, of a daddy, daddy's girl. In the meantime, you want to buy equipment. You want to buy components and, and such. Right, Samuel? Yep. So, and Romanta is always ready to help someone of... Uh, I forget your tribe's name. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think we agreed upon a name. <laughs> we did not. I don't know if we picked one. I, no. I know... I feel I feel bad, Samuel, because I'm not I haven't been including you in a whole lot of scenes. When when we have a chance, I know you've been busy with work. We gotta we gotta nail down that backstory because I want oh, yeah. I want to get you in more. Oh yeah. Okay, but yeah. Suffice to say, Ed Armanta works a lot. He's he's one of the maestros of the Barania dorm. He works a lot with druidic circles and rangers, and he's familiar with your tribe. And he would always like to help someone who is involved there. He asks that you uh, give your ancestors uh, his regards next time you see them. Yeah. So what'll it be? Well, let's see. I have to go ahead and pull up a whole bunch of spell components and things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to do shopping out, uh, you know, off session, we can do that. So. Yeah, that's fair. We could do that. Um, and then I'll, you know, it's it's most things are simple enough, but obviously some components might be more expensive or 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 um or less available depending on the level of spell and the school right. of spell like obviously anything regarding divination is going to be hard to come by hmm. all right that's fair yep but aside from that you have this you know this nice exchange uh you are able to get a bit more friendlier with uh with Ed Ormanta, Ed Ormanta, you know, talks a little bit about his connection to your tribe. Uh, he used to be an intermediary. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he, 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 being, being, uh, uh, being from one of the old tribes of dwarves, he had quite, uh, a spiritual connection. A religious one, to be more specific. And so people who uh, people who have there 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 typically tends to be a separation between people who have a sort of primal spiritual connection and those who have a religious connection. And Enormanta prided himself on being a sort of liaison between those two. And so you you are you are reminded, or or you might be brought back to memories about uh, diplomatic discussions and treaties that your primal tribes might have with the um, the cult of truth. Or the um, or the uh, you know the archdiocese of of of, uh, of Dia in more refined settlements. Huh, okay, yeah, that's that's actually really familiar. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. So, if you ever if you ever find yourself in such a pickle, well, I don't know if I can help, but I know that I'll I, I know that someone will be able to help, and they're good people. Yeah, I'll definitely count on them. Yeah. Aside from that, that is mostly where this scene goes. It's relatively short, but that's where we have this. Unless anyone else wants to do anything particular, Apis, you have any ideas? If you were thinking about that divination stuff, you might go to the library and catch up on a spell or two. There is absolutely no spells that I can... Really? Like, Augury is... Augury little... is probably your closest. Like, it's a little weird on how it's, like, 
It's very weird, yes. That's why it's that's why it's a second level spell. It's one of the most vague of divination spells. I you know what? I think after uh, class I will uh, how much gold do I have? Oh, this is gonna bankrupt me. Uh yeah. <laughs> you, you, do you wanna do you wanna learn augury? Uh it's gonna be a hundred gold to learn augury. Is do it we, worth it? Do we. Yeah. Is that including the cost to rent the book itself? No. Okay. Then I think it would cost 150. Ah! <laughs> yeah. I... No, Why no, do no, I no, play no. wizards? You're, They're you're, so expensive. You're 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 lear you're learning quickly that uh, a common a common strategy among wizards in the school of Ultimate Academy is to spend their downtime learning spells in bulk, so they only have to rent mm -hmm. the book once. I mean, do I have to rent the book? If it's in the library, I could always spend the two hours studying it there. Does it only take... It takes four hours, doesn't it? It's a pretty easy spell to learn, huh? Uh, actually, um... hold on. Let me see the... Let me see the rules for wizards. I am definitely... not all in one sitting? No, you don't have to learn it all in one sitting. I would I would say that if it's four hours, that would be like for for two wild credits. You are basically instead of studying, you are instead learning the spell. So you uh, spend two wild credits uh, to waive the fifty dollar fee. First level higher, you can add a spare spare time, copy the spell and follow but process takes two hours and costs 50 gold per spell level so four hours and that would cost me two credit two wild credits two wild credits absolutely all right so, save the money. so so for a hundred gold and two wild credits you will spend some of your downtime learning augury <laughs> do, 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 do. all right wild credits and a hundred gold hey learning spells as a wizard is expensive there's a reason. There's a reason why I wasn't too worried about having a library with basically every spell in it. Ah, uh, <laughs> thirty three gold. I need <laughs> time to start making some money. <laughs> All right, time to put myself on the fucking corner. All right. <laughs> All right. I think that scene is good to go. I have. I think the next one I want to do is a tricky Pandora scene. Wow. Basically, the basically the ramifications of uh, the student council, and I mean everyone else is there too, but we know the real star. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yay. I'm Wait. Let's star. send this to the first floor. Hold up. I can't even do Augury. Why not? It's a cleric spell. Oh, it's a cleric no! only spell. Oh, oh no! Yeah! <laughs> All right. I'm taking my Wait, money back. Wait, that, 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 yeah, yeah take, take, take your money back, take your credits back, I'm sorry. But at least it means Rucktuck Tuck knows it. Yeah. Rock Tuck, Tuck doesn't know about this, so mm. somebody's gonna have to tell them. Oh. Alright, this is gonna be, hap this is gonna have to be a scene later. <laughs> this will be a scene later for sure. In fact, we can probably do this right now. We can, we can, we can stall a bit on the tricky scene, do we agree? This is, this is riveting. I mean, I'm fine with it. Uh, All right. Augury does require components. Uh, Let's not put Penelope here. I will spend the 25 gold if it is available to get the uh, specially marked sticks, bones, or similar tokens for Augury. Um, getting any divination component is going to be harder and pricier. You um, will need, you will need to, so basically, if you want divination components, you will have to spend a downtime activity as if you were buying a magic item. 
the price is based on your appropriate investigation and persuasion check. All right, fuck. <laughs> as soon as Apis figures this out, it's like, ah, fuck this. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> fuck. I already have Uggery prepared. Oh my gosh. Hey. So, I mean, you, 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 you are there. Wait, am do you I? Have the Where am I? Uh, you are at the library. Did I not bring you to the library? No, fuck, oh. of course I didn't. Shit DM. I mean, it All doesn't right. consume it. You are you were in the library and figured everyone else is studying, so feel free to place yourselves if you'd like. If you want to if you want to be studying on the first floor, you would probably put yourself here in one of these rooms or in the classroom. Rectux? Probably just like even if Rectuck's studying, Rectuck has a habit of sitting in the library. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you're just getting in the way. Yeah, you're just absolutely. like you're just, absolutely. You're, just, you're, just, you're, you're, you're just like, why, why go back to the table and, and chair and read this book? I'm just going to put it back here when I'm done. Exactly. All right. All right. So, yeah. I think after everything's said and done on one of my study days, I'm going to be at the library. By the way, I, you know what I forgot to do? We never had a scene with Penelope and Rucktuck. Rucktuck, would you have ever met Penelope in the dorm, as she asked? Oh, yeah. Uh, what time would have Rucktuck would have kind of figured would be normal for to meet a person at a dorm? Uh, probably after school. Okay, yeah. Um, um, let's do this with Theater of the Mind. Are we okay with that? I just realized this because the impact of this decision might... Like, what, how, what, how Rugtuck responds to the student council question can impact this scene. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a as far as Theater of the Mind goes, you would finally... I mean, it's, it, it is the Arcana Dorm. You know that, uh... That Penelope is a wizard, so you would have to clunk 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 drag your 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 uh <laughs> drag your uh your wagon up across four flights of stairs. Oh my god! Oh my god. I mean, Rucktuck does live on the second floor all the time, so <laughs> this That's is true. actually a pretty regular occasion to hear Rucktuck's wagon true. going up the stairs. Just never this far. <laughs> yeah. You you might decide to place you might decide to, to make a pit stop at your dorm and park your wagon before making it the nope. rest of the way. No, nope. <laughs> no, <it's> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's coming you... with me. All right, uh, then you to tunk to tunk to tunk, drag your way through the stairs, and the people in the Bidini dorm are just like, "Hi, Ruck Tuck," and then <laughs> you turn around and continue to tuck to tunk. Bye, Ruck Tuck. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Also, oh, thank you for throwing things at me, Travis. <laughs> hey, keep throwing stuff. We love it. No, don't encourage them. Well, God you damn just it. encouraged them a second ago. Ah! Throw the stuff. Throw the stuff. Now Throw divine the stuff. Also, hi, divine. Throw thank you for stuff. coming in. Oh, Travis. Travis. <laughs> Travis. Oh, oh man, you. Travis. Throw the stuff. Get him. Get him! Fucking send it. All right, but you uh. Why would I ban divine? You threw <laughs> more. <laughs> when you, by the time you make it halfway through the third floor stairs, you can hear the scuttering of feet as Penelope greets you. Hey, you made it. Let me, uh. I could, you know, she could tell you were coming away, oh, coming by just by the sound of your wagon. <laughs> ka -tunk, ka -tunk, ka -tunk. Let me, let me, let me help you with that. And she like struggles to lift your wagon. No, no, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, it's fine. She, you can, you can see that she's, she's, she's struggling to, to lift it, despite being, um, Penelope of the Reckless. It seems like strength might not be her strong suit. Eventually, you perclunk your way up the stairs and into the common room. As she, sh as she sits you down and fetches you a, a glass of... I'm gonna say... 
What would be... Let's just say elderberry juice. Okay. You're, 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 this, this might almost be uncomfortable for you. You're being treated like royalty. Uh, yeah, Rekchak will, uh, accept the juice and just be like, uh, yeah, um, I, I take this as, as about counsel. That's right. What do you think? I think we'll be unstoppable if we work together. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm much set out for leading. Um, she, she, she kind of, she kind of still has the rose tinted glasses and she's like, oh, that's, that's nonsense. I know you're, I know you're, you're all about that humility, but I'm sure you, I'm sure it'll come to you naturally. And besides me and Spyro is going to be leading. So all you'll need to worry about is talking to people and making sure that we know what they need. Well, I wouldn't mind that so much. I do like helping. Yes. <laughs> you can hear her mutter under her breath. So, so you'll do it? Uh, what, what are my duties as bishop? Uh, so she, she starts off and she talks about, well, the student council mostly does funding, I think. Um, and the bishop is usually helping with the Berania and the divinity dorm and knowing what to do because they handle the clubs and stuff. So we got to talk to them and make sure that they're happy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think I could help with that, but, but I also work at the library, so I don't know if that'll cut into time. Hmm. Well, it is a big responsibility, but I bet if you had this kind of credential under your belt, Melanie would probably give you a raise. Oh, I don't need a raise. I just like working there. Well, if you give... <laughs> she, You can see that she's, it's hard for her to give up. If you give... Uh, if you give the student council a shot, you might like it even more. You don't know until you try. I guess Please? you're right. <laughs> she starts to beg, almost. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I I'll do it. I'll do it. Yes! <laughs> and Rukshak is just like... You, you, you know how, like, little kids are just playing with the hem of their shirt when they're nervous? Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's just Rucktuck in this occasion. Yes. Uh she's she's like, "Yes, you won't you won't uh you won't regret it. I promise." And she like takes your hand off of your off of the hem of your shirt and shakes it vigorously. "Hold on. I'm I'm getting a call. What is that? My 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 freaking park ranger is calling me. I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to throw hands. 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 Hi park ranger. Hello park oh. ranger. Hello. Hi. Because I'm in the middle of streaming. What are you doing? <laughs> my streams last four hours. <laughs> Don't don't brother me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Well. <laughs> uh, the ones that I have physically. <laughs> what? I don't even know if I have them physically. What? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't, I don't know. know. It, We're trying to figure this it out. It might have been too. a cheat, but I might have. What? Can, okay. We're on a roll, I cannot be stopped, and everyone's yelling at me. <laughs> we're not yelling at you. We're, we're not we're yelling. We're we're yelling. Right, we can hear what do you, you have physically? We were just very curious. You're not okay, muted. Bye. 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 I am yelling at you. Ah. What do you have physically? 
I, 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 I muted you and I during that, but I realized that we were both audible in everyone else's stream. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that audio for when I update this VOD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we are back. Just, 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 just standard, just standard park <laughs> ranger guilt tripping. Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go off for park duties tomorrow. Why aren't you hanging out with me? Prioritizing your new VTuber friends. Oh. Oh. I, I'm, 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 I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. Okay. I'm also I'm Damn. also exaggerating, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. I mean, Fuck hey, we I mean cool, so. yeah. yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Called out. Also, can you tell all of the animals in the park that I love them? <gasps> I will. Yeah. Thank you. Eat all the plants. I'll go to each one one by one. I'll do I'll do like a door by door sale, like an yes. actual student council. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, but yeah. She she finally like now now she finally has your approval. She finally calms down, and is like, "This means this does really mean a lot to me, you know. I guess now that you're in on it, I should be honest and tell you why." Please. And she starts to explain a bit more about why she even wants to join the student council or why she made a decision. She again talks about her friend Samantha, broken record, right? And how she's trying to get her to come out of her shell, do adventuring with her, be braver and that kind of stuff. But after the debacle that happened in the Junior Expedition Club, she says she went off and joined Pandora's student council. I was like, are you kidding me? After all the promises we made? I know she means well, but I think she's just trying to get away. She's trying to uh, get away with not joining the expeditionists. Well, and you learn that Penelope, despite, you know, being relatively popular and probably knowing what she's doing, really wants to be, really wants to, really m created the student council and set everything up uh, just to make sure that Samantha doesn't join the student council. Without being in the council, then Samantha won't have any excuse to not join the expeditionists. That doesn't seem very nice. Yeah, maybe joining the student council is the way that she wants to come out of her shell, and she's not ready for the expeditionists yet. And Penelope, Penelope hears these and sort of haphazardly bats the ideal way. So like I've known her for a long time and we made a promise to be adventurers together. I I think she I know she's just scared. It's all the expeditionist's fault anyway for shunning her like that. Well maybe we could talk to the expeditionists and get them not to. I've already got that covered. Oh, now I just need to make sure that she doesn't get herself preoccupied with something like the student council. Why don't you just talk to her directly? I have been, but she's a bit stubborn. Well, maybe I could go talk to her? Hmm, give me a persuasion check. Alright. My charisma was stolen. I'm kidding, I gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, persuasion? Yes, persuasion. Oh. All right. That was an advantageous check, but it still checks out. Um, you you suggest the idea, and Penelope ponders about it. Well, you are both clerics by trade, and I, I bet she would really respect you. Yeah, let's go talk to her together. Okay. All right. And that is sort of where you, that is sort of where that scene ends. And I'm going to bring us back to this scene of Apis going to be like, does someone here know Augury? Is there, is there a diviner on the plane of existence? Uh, oh, this is beautiful. Well, I would know, uh, 
that Rucktuck is clerical by nature, right? Yeah, Rucktuck makes it pretty obvious. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk up. There's no sneaking around. I'm just gonna find Ruck Tuck and just. Uh. Ruck Tuck. Mm? I have a favor to ask you. If, uh. Yeah. What, what do you need? He, he's gonna, like, come in closer, just hush tone. Do you happen to know any divination a bit yeah a, a, a bit says the person casting locate object every day for the last <laughs> <year>. <laughs> okay a lot yeah i like divination okay uh i'm not sure how easy this is gonna be but i could really use your help Mm-hmm. We need to go somewhere where there's no prying eyes or ears. Uh, we could either go to my dorm, your dorm, or the study rooms. I- I think the study rooms will be fun. Okay. Alright, which one are we taking? Uh, whichever one's empty, I guess. They're all empty. Okay. They're all empty. <laughs> They're all empty. <laughs> I'm gonna all right. throw myself. You, <laughs> you, you, you go around and uh, find the first empty. You find the first spot preoccupied. In fact, you might even talk to Melanie, and Melanie's like, "Oh yeah, this room is, this room is usually dedicated to maestros, but I'll let you use it." Wonderful. All right. Hey. Yes. What's up? Alright. As he kind of like face palming in his head, am I really gonna blow this secret right now? Just to learn. Mm. Okay. Um. So. How much do you know what went on during the attack? I like, was I, I... kind of knocked out for most of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I think you mean valiantly fighting. Yay! And, not, scre fighting. and not screaming under a desk. Sacred flame, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't under a desk. I was on top of a bookcase for some of it. Oh, and then you were under a desk. And then I was stairs. under a desk. And then I got knocked out. And then I got revived, and then I got knocked out again. And then we killed a cat, and then I got knocked out again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, and then I fell down the stairs, and then Are I you... got knocked out again. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? <laughs> Probably. I mean, and then that... you were given a potion and never used it, and then you fell over again. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that lovely mental main bramage. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, anyways what I'm about to tell you you cannot tell anyone else Rucktuck makes like the zipping motion across his lips but it's like across the entirety of his face because that's how far his lips go <laughs> oh my somewhere somewhere across the city Ferre Pyrrhus sneezes huh? huh? hmm? Very pure yeah. a, a bad omen. Oh, oh god. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, because you know the whole thing where, oh, if you sneeze, it's because someone's talking about you. Hey! Mm. Travis, stop throwing things at me. Uh, I did not know that. Anyways. Well, I don't sneeze very much. So, <coughs> if you have the ability to in some way, shape, or form, scry a person. Uh, yeah, I think I can. Uh, does Aga, 
Does Augury scry on people? I'm just reading the spell. Uh, uh, Augury asks, uh, basically asks the gods for, uh, like you ask yeah. them a question about something you're planning to do, I think in the next 24 hours. And uh, the gods basically, uh, using whatever knowledge they have, which is not unlimited, will tell you either it's going to be good, bad, neither, or both. I don't think I can scry on a an exact person. Uh, I can ask my god, though. About stuff. And you're by your god, you mean Thea, or a relative kindred. You Wait, you, wait, you have a kindred... I forget Kindred, their name. Thank you. I was just yeah, yeah. Well, well if you can, real quick. if you're able, it was it was it was the kin the kindred of knowledge. I'm pretty Ish sure is Ruxpin. Ishmael Coil. Yes, Ishmael. Uh, yes. yes, 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 yes. Well, if you're able to ask a question, can you ask your god if Ursa is still in the city? So. The, so to clarify, you would you would know about this apis, but the way augury works is you ask the gods a question about an action you are going to take. So instead of asking, just to help like teach about the spell, instead of asking, um, instead of asking like you know, is Ursa in the city? You might ask the question like, what will happen if I look for Ursa in the city in the next twenty four hours? And then the they'll next. they'll tell you whether like it's good or bad for you to do that. Not even the next twenty four hours. It's the next thirty minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. Is there an object on Ursa I would know well enough? Um give me a history check. Or hmm. just know what a straight intelligence check would be fine. Intelligence? Uh, would I know under uh, my whole <laughs> Nope. Thing. Unfortunately, Rucktuck needs to know this. And Rucktuck, unfortunately, you're a first year. And you were busy uh, getting schooled by the tiefling instead of attending uh, Ursa's uh, assembly. So you, I don't know if you've ever actually met Ursa in person. I don't think I have. No, I'm so sure. you would not know a single thing on Ursa's body. So yeah, no, I can't use locate object. To find something that would be on her. Um, otherwise, that would ping anything uh, within a thousand feet. Hmm. Now you, you, know, you can you can ask for a particular kind of object if you know that, like, say, Ursa's wearing a certain uh, like a like a necklace or something. But you're probably just going to find a necklace on someone else. Hmm. Um. But yeah. Uh, Augury, I can ask my god about an action that I plan to take within the next 30 minutes and how good a result that'll be. Um. Blah, 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 what else do I have? I have more things at my disposal, but I can't use them until uh, tomorrow because I would need to reset what I have prepared. Uh, at around this time, Rucktuck, unrelated to your current conversation, your mouse senses are tingling. Mouse senses? Yes, Rucktuck your mouse just, senses. Like, suddenly... Mouse senses? Mouse Rucktuck just suddenly perks up and is just like, Hmm? Hello? Yes. Something, some, it, 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 feel, it feels like a certain mouse is nearby. You get an uncanny feeling. Pen? Oh no, is she around? Maybe? Mm. You call out for Pen, but there's no answer. She's not that <laughs> close, it seems. Well. They have a mental link now? Oh, <laughs> um, maybe? No. I guess so! Rucktuck's like surprised it. by it! I, I'm, I'm being a little silly here, don't mind me. Rucktuck <laughs> is surprised by it! Well. Whatever you may have, if you have can may figure out well if Ursa is still in the city and can let me know if you get anything that'd be wonderful ooh that sounded uh, nice nice good old thunder 
I'm gonna look oh, up a cleric I'm spell curious. list. One moment. Okay. Because what can I learn that will be useful? <sighs> da, 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 da. I can go up to... What level can I go up to? Third. You would be up to level uh, two, two if you're a level four character. Yes. Ow. Yeah, there's there's really nothing. It's like it's like locate object and augury is like the ones you got. I think maybe locate yeah. creature. Maybe locate creature. Where's locate creature? Locate creature it. might be third level, unfortunately. Uh. uh locate uh, creature is fourth level. Yeah. Oh, that's a powerful spell. Yeah. And that is actually a spell that I could potentially learn if you were level seven. And if I had money! Because <laughs> that's five levels! That's 200 gold! <laughs> One moment. Uh, is there more libraries around the city? city? Yeah, I mean, there's, of course, your family's library. There's the Royal Archives, which is typically off-limits. And there are, you know, all sorts of small pawn shops that might sell books. Oh, there certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, fish! Mm. Um... <laughs> hmm. Mm. <laughs> you know, fish might actually be an ally to you, Apis. If she can get her hands on cheap spell books you can copy from for free. Oh, well, definitely not for free from me, but it wouldn't be as expensive as having to rent a book. I'm just trying to think. Because okay. possibly I could ask around through library connections, but I don't think that's a good idea. Especially not with blood on my skin. Yeah. Considering I'm trying to get ahead of, well, a lot of people. Yeah. So, uh, most I can do for you is augury right now until I learn higher levels. Because what's Wait, at my like higher a, like, levels? It was like a rewind for a second. I'm just being like, I gotta get ahead of a lot of people. It's like suspicious. That feels suspicious. Be suspicious. Okay. Be suspicious. Just a little. Oh, while Rock Tuck, while, while Rock Tuck is what? Rock Tuck doesn't like worry about his, their like friends being suspicious. You're probably right. <laughs> no, Rock Tuck absolutely doesn't. Rock Tuck. Yeah, that's right. Rock Tuck and Apis already people. have a connection. Huh. All right. Well, while while you are while you are playing this, you hear a knocking on your door. Hello? Come in. The door is open and Penelope strides out proudly. <laughs> ah! Rock Tuck. Melanie said you'd be in here. Yeah. Hey, I just heard I just heard that I just heard that Sammy's having a a, a a council meeting today. We can go talk to her right now. Uh mm. Uh Rock Tuck looks to Ape Apis? Uh, I. Are you studying? More or less. Yeah. She um, she 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 leans in towards Rock Tuck. Why are you studying with this bird brain? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Can I hear that? Uh, roll a perception check. With Ooh. advantage, cause of my bullshit. Isn't it advantage with your oh. eyes specifically? Uh, yeah, no. it relies on sight. I think. Uh, is it? Yeah, is your keen that's... eyes get advantage of rely on sight. Either I'll, way, I'll double check. Uh, you oh, have advantage funny. on perception checks and can't be surprised is how you worded it for situational awareness. Oh, you have situational awareness course. That's right. Yes. yes. You, 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 you hear her give you a silent diss. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a silent diss. Mm-hmm. A subtle diss. Apis doesn't... He's not that bad. He likes to you make know, bad I jokes. Hear you right. Oh, shit. No, guy. Okay. 
Uh, Let's all be nice to each other, all right? We got off on a bad foot. I'm sure we can get off on a better foot, okay? But... Uh, Anyways, uh, really? Well, I guess if you say he's... If you say he's good, Rock Tuck, then I guess it must be a misunderstanding. And Pen, you said you were uh, going to talk to your uh, friend. Maybe we could yeah. also uh, talk to him about... Uh, getting back into the expeditionist club see it's all come she she penelope's rubbing her hands really like it's all coming together the plan's all coming together i'm pumped let's go she grabs rut tuck's hand and starts leading them across the courtyard oh, I, they're grab my wagon. Uh, yeah. I will i will grab the <laughs> wagon and slowly walk along thank you yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let's move on to a scene with with uh, the student council. I just got to get everyone here. There's a lot of tokens in there. Some of them are missing. Why are they missing? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, there they are. Oh, I keep adding. I keep adding uh, freaking tricky. I don't. I never have to. That's fair. Okay. Oh man, totally needed this rain. All right, <laughs> Not there we go. Old man or anything. All right, so uh, so Pandora, uh, so setting the scene for a second. You're 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 at a you're at your first, um, you're at your first. Student council meeting after all the paperwork has been filled and approved. You guys are now officially running for student council. It is your sort of cabinet. And uh, you're kind of having a bit of a celebratory meeting. It's like, yes, we did it. We got all the paperwork done. We can relax a little bit, take a week off, take a load off. And um, that is mostly where you guys have yourselves here. As soon as uh, everyone is relaxed, I want to yes. uh, pipe up. <laughs> okay, so what do you say? To do about the other Mus in their group. The wait, the other what? Mus, <laughs> the small one, not not our small one, the other one. S S Samantha, uh, is like. She, you, you can see that Samantha's face has gone like white as a sheet. Wait, which one? And Pandora, uh, Pandora kind of chimes in like, "Yeah, what are you talking about? No one else applied except for us. At least last I checked." And uh, Doremma kind of adds in, "Well, yeah, for good reason. No one's gonna beat us." Well, there's. How many musts are in this school? <laughs> there's gotta there's, be like... there, there's enough that it's not immediately obvious that it's Penelope, but there's not enough for it to be out of the question. Well, there was this mus who was sneaking around. And obviously there's... Sneaking around is... easy to follow. Samantha immediately she... pipes up. Did she have a giant book on her back? And she did. She absolutely yeah, did. Yes. They, they were ah! not so quietly speaking about making their own student council. And Samantha kind of like meeps up like, oh dear. And uh, Daniel, Daniel says, oh, you must be talking about Penelope of the Reckless. I wouldn't worry about her too much. She's popular, yeah, but she gets in way over her head at everything. She'll probably give up on being student council any day now. And it as if she doesn't. Yeah, as if on cue, I am going to the door in the student council room is basically kicked open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Practically kicked open and Penelope proudly presents herself along with uh, Ruck Tuck and Apis. And the wagon. <laughs> and, and the wagon. Of course, and, and, and Waggy. 
Yeah, I'm pulling the wagon. It's still so yes. obvious that Rucktuck is being pulled along by Penelope. Yep. Yes, the, the door the door the door is kicked down and and Penelope is like is like hello student uh, she like she like she like <laughs> tugs a bit to get uh like Rucktuck into frame. Uh... Hello Pandora. I'm Penelope. And I'm here to throw down the gauntlet! And she takes one of her gloves and throws it on the ground. Oh my god. She has a flair Ruck for the dramatic. <laughs> Rucktuck just looks like the tail's between the legs. And is just shaking. Yeah. Sa Samantha. Is Samantha. Like Samantha. drumming his claws against the table in like the least amused fashion. Samantha squeaks in shock and the Rema's like, You've gotta be kidding. No way in hell am I kidding. I'm just going to continue. No one responded to that. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so Penelope is like, this This is not a joke. I'm running for student council. And we, and she like wraps her arm around uh, Ruck Tuck, are going to show you how it's really done. And Pandora looks really shocked about this. She actually looks genuinely worried. Uh... Are you sure about that? Student council is a lot of responsibility. She tries to... She, she seems to try to convince uh, Penelope uh, against it, but there's no convincing her. She's like, I'm, I've 100% made up my mind. And uh, you can tell that while she's having this impassionate speech, she's stealing glances at Samantha the whole time. Samantha, uh, meanwhile, is... is is split st is splitting her gaze between everyone she doesn't really know where to look Pen. I, I look at samantha every once in a while just because like returning gaze is, is a thing <laughs> i guess socialization <laughs> classes. i think no, tricky has classes for this by the way i think yeah, he has probably. socialization classes or probably at least um yeah uh, well, can, yeah. Can we just grab Samantha and talk? I don't think. Yeah, we well, all the fanfare. You want to talk to Samantha? You want to talk to? Wait, is Samantha? Samantha the captain? You want to talk to the captain? Um, is that normal? And Bar Barthelian kind of like, kind of like tries to tries to tries to chime in. He's like, wait, have you even filled in your paperwork? The deadline is tomorrow. And Penelope kind of shakes it off. Oh, we'll be fine. It's almost done. I have to fill in one last name. She gives Rucktuck a wink. <laughs> I have it right here. And it's being passed over as soon as I leave this room. You call think... into conflict two packs. This is unusual. And I don't think this is the right way to go about this. Uh, she, you, she, P P Penelope is like, uh, what? How would you, how would you go about it? She like leans in in a rush whisper. How would you go about it? Pen, just talk to your friend. Be understanding. If they don't want to join the adventuring guild, then they don't have to. Hmm. How would Penelope take that? Um... Yeah, Penelope would be like, okay, you know, we can, we can settle this amicably. And uh, Penelope turns to Pandora and it says, and uh, Pandora will be like, um, okay, I'll level with you, uh, Pen. Um, we have a lot on our plate. What would it take for you to withdraw as student council nominee? I will and Penel duel any of your members. <laughs> Rock Rock is just she ducks. A Penelope Penelope's like a battle of a battle of wits. No. Oh Casual battle. She, no, she, Tricky, uh, we don't we don't she, need to fight. A, a an actual duel 
quite brave and she pulls she she reaches it she reaches to her holster and pulls out a mouse sized rapier it's honestly not much bigger than a toothpick Pen. you wonder no. why you wonder why she's allowed to carry a weapon in school and maybe it's because it's basically tiny and we don't need to <laughs> know <laughs> I uh, right. look to Pandora for some sort of like. Yeah, Samantha's like, can we not? <laughs> can we? Uh, okay. Pandora, if, if not for this, then for fun. Uh, maybe later. <coughs> <coughs> yes, right. definitely later. You can see the prospect of a duel really excites Penelope. <laughs> you can would, see would it also like. Get you to step down because that would be convenient. Only if you'd step down if you lose. And Pandora, at this point, is like putting her hand between you. Oh, we, that is, this is, we don't need to do this. Um, I'm not going to lose. Rachek's Ru hand <laughs> that isn't and... being held by Penelope is just gripping the edge of his shirt, knuckles white. <laughs> I, I, I can imagine that Penelope, like, 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 holds on to you for a second to make sure you're in frame and standing proud and tall, and then eventually is confident, lets you go. You try to scurry away, and then she grabs you again. Yay! She's just regularly keeping you in the frame. Uh, yeah, it's not about winning. Well, I mean, li it's literally <laughs> about winning, but that's not, um, there's a lot of, can we talk, Penelope, <laughs> per like, between us? Penelope's like, uh, yeah. Uh, can we do, uh, Pandora? I'll talk to Pandora, and then we'll talk to Samantha after, okay? Okay. I agree to your terms, Miss Marmago. And she, like, you know, after you. And, they, and then Pandora leads her into a closed room. So, are you the, you know, b b b uh, so uh, B Barthelion kind of tries to make idle talk between the other other members of the council. Are you the, are you the VP? Uh, are you the VP, Rucktuck? Oh, oh, Bar I... Barthelion talking from across the room. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I, uh, well, um... Uh, <laughs> and that must make and that must make you captain uh daniel addresses apis no uh basically uh pan wanted to not have sam join the student council to, to that sam could, could you join the adventure guild oh you just spilled the beans completely <laughs> and some, yeah. wait this is just a this is just a Oh, oh, wait, yes, this is... When you hear this, Dorema would stand up and be like, y Are you serious? That's bullshit! And she, like, gets... She gets, um, uncharacteristically mad. Well, well we, we just need to talk it out, and... Uh, Pen just needs to I'm, understand that... I'm gonna Sam? give that Penelope a piece of my mind right now. No, 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 no. Sam Rexha Samantha just, like, tries to block Samantha, the way. Yeah, Samantha, Samantha's like, Locked you don't have to. Door. It's okay. I. Uh, should we wait? I hold on. And Barthelian starts to interfere. Everyone's trying to mediate the situation. There's almost a scuffle. Not a scuffle. Let Sam. me through. Sam, I'm just gonna stand there. Do I don't do this. I'll write you up if you do. Even though I'm your, uh, even though I'm your bishop. Sorry, give me a second. Um, I'm gonna roll insight on my own. <laughs> okay. Just okay. to see if I, because I'm out of character, understand, but I don't know if I understand in character. Go yes, for I it. Do. <laughs> okay. Uh, I realize Samantha's happen. a bit too, bit too big. Uh, there you go. I'm going to, um, basically, yeah. I'm going to stand in front of Dorema and just look at her for a moment, connect with her and say, um, in, in my mind, 
you should pay attention to your friend rather than getting angry on mm, She's not happy about what you said, but she will turn to see Samantha who's 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 by now grabbed her arm trying to restrain her. It's okay. I'll I'll talk to her. Please do. Want any of us in there with you? No, it's okay. We we are friends. Okay. Good, good luck. Don't let her get to you. Mm. I'll, I'll step aside for Sam. <laughs> yeah, Rex will okay. put Sam aside. Sam will make it. Sam will will usher her through. Uh, or Sam, Sam, sorry, Samantha will make her way through. She'll press her ear against the door as if to listen to the conversation. I would like to fist bump Rucktuck. Rucktuck reiterates. Reciprocates. All right. Reciprocates. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You know that after word for a, after like, a few tense right minutes, uh, after a few tense minutes, after which everyone else has a chance to sort of introduce ourselves, they invite you into the room. Please take a seat. Even though we might be opposing student councils, we can be cordial. I don't particularly want to be. I'm just going to stand off to the side because I am not part of any student council. Wait, then why are you here? Again. As a... <clears throat> we were studying... More so as a representative to the... Fuck, what's the name? The junior expeditionist, you mean? Jun yes. As the junior expeditionist, since uh, some of my colleagues were a little on the rough side with Sam. So I came to formally apologize. Daniel Tadabo Hello. says, that was Daniel seems a bit confused, which is uncharacteristic for a guy who collects so much intel. He says, wait, junior expeditionists? What do they have to do with the student council? Durham is like, no, he has a point. It's, it's not, not a the... Yeah, Durham was like, it's it's not really about student council. There's something else going on. Uh, is this a story I should know about? Don't even try it. Do you have a crush on her? Who's <laughs> that? There, there's no crushes involved. Vish is not there. Oh, I know. This, this was just an, an out of character thing. I'm yes. wondering. If, I'm like, does Penn have a crush on Samantha? All right. Samantha will uh, scurry back because the doors are about to swing open. And they seem to be a lot more friendly with each other now. Uh, they, they, they're, they're shaking hands and smiling and they're like, okay, I'm glad we, c I'm glad we can come to a better understanding. And Penelope's like, excellent. Uh, you know, I'm glad too. I look forward to your answer, okay? Hey, remember, deadline's tomorrow, so I don't have all time to wait, okay? They're totally together, totally. <laughs> and they, uh, and Penelope's like, let's go. Rock Tuck, let's go. <laughs> what? Wait, are you staying? What, 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 what did you come to? What, what decision? Uh, well, I think Pandora's gonna handle it. Pandora, is it okay if Rucktuck stays? He's, or sorry, they're part of my, uh, council, and, and Pandora's like, it's okay if they want to listen in. There's nothing secret about it. We kind are of still dueling. <laughs> what? Alright, I'll be outside, uh, they wouldn't, she wouldn't know you. Um... Uh, I bet Penny? she would try. I bet Penelope Wait. would try to refer to you Penelope by your full year, name. Right? Oh, Penelope, Penelope is a third year. Yes, Penelope is a third year, and she would refer to you by your full name. She would, or she would try to at least. She was like, "I'll see you outside, trick trick." Good enough. Pretty close. Um, mm -hmm. Pen. Uh, oh wait, here. she doesn't take the <laughs> wagon. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like calling out to her, and she's like running away. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I All right. I go. <laughs> I, I look to, uh, to <laughs> Pandora to yeah, see if Pen I can leave. Yeah, please don't fight her. <laughs> At least not yet. I, I, 
we, I could use your decision. I can use your decision on this. Okay, but then I, I will fight her. Oh my. All right. He wants but... to fight. Don't All right, just fight. don't, don't, don't do any real damage. You know, maybe I, I should. Maybe I'll just watch after. Very well. What is the decision we must make? And everyone turns to Pandora at once, looking for her answer. And Pandora finally explains the terms. She said she'll give she'll she'll abdicate from student council nominee if Samantha promises to join the junior expeditionists. And advocate or advocate? Ad ab abdicate. Ab okay. You did say it right the and, first time. And uh and Taremba kind of, like, kicks the table under her, and she's like, of course. And, uh, yeah, she's like, as long, as long as Samantha joins the Junior Expeditionists, then she'll abdicate from Student Council nominee. But if she doesn't by tomorrow, then she'll submit her application. I'm, I'm sure I could beat her, but that's going to take a lot of work, and I didn't plan for it. Sam... Do you want to be part of the junior expeditionists? I I don't I don't know. She seems uncertain. I'm not going to tell Penny I, your answer either way. I I know originally I wanted to, but and she looks with a pained expression. Uh glancing at um well a few people no one in particular but she seems to her her mind seems to wander about uh her mind seems to wander about some past experience she doesn't divulge exactly what it is she's still putting it into words everyone seems to wait for her response and eventually she clarifies a bit more she says i went i went there last week we didn't really see eye to eye me and those guys in the team they they didn't want me air is a little silent not everyone Tricky kind of stands up a little straighter. Um, we are a pack now. We can... We do not avoid conflict. We... What the fuck was that? It was really <laughs> loud. Samuel, you okay? Oh, no, no, I was... Sorry, I was just blew on took a, took a big fat rip, bro! Vape <laughs> 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 for life, man! <laughs> I didn't even realize I got picked up by the mic. That's my bad. I was gonna be yeah, like, "Fuck okay. pass, man! Like, what you doing?" Yeah. We are not so... here to take an easy win. <laughs> We're not here to take L's. We we aren't here to give up just because someone asked for terms and conditions. He kind of scoffs in a very insectoid clicky manner yeah it's a very clear disdain for just the general manner in which some things in this new world are held um if you want to go you will go you are part of our pack and we will become stronger in whatever position you decide to bore He's talking to Samantha. Yeah. But then he speaks up again. But we are a unit either way. And if we have to run, we will. Conflict is the word that lingers in Samantha's mind. She looks down at the table, at her hands, as if pondering her palms, reading her own fortune. We'll if, be fine. 
<laughs> if I may interject just ever so slightly, not everyone in the Junior Expeditionists uh, is, well, like how they were. Uh, I definitely look forward to seeing you in the club and hopefully uh, go out on adventures. And oh. I'm sure there's a few others that are like Um. Me. I'm... I'm really sorry. Who are you? <laughs> sorry. My name's Apis. Uh, I'm a friend of Penn's. Uh, with the Junior Expeditionists. <laughs> she makes friends really quickly, doesn't she? Uh... Would you really be okay with someone like me? I... I don't know if you know about how I got here. I shouldn't really be here. I... She told me. You don't have to explain yourself. I don't fight. I can't fight. That's fine. And she looks at you, shocked by those words. One thing I've learned in my lifetime is you don't always need to fight. It's more of a... What, what's the word? Option? But as long as you have friends by your side, you'll always be supported. And so, you'll, you'll support me? As Pen will too? Yeah. I know in the end she really wants to support me. I've known her since I was a kid. Um. There's just... Some things. Pen's always a little stubborn, but, oh, roll me a persuasion check. Me? Yes, you. And do it with advantage. Think. Okay. She looks down and, and, um, kind of clenches her hand into a tiny mouse-sized fist. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it is your decision. I know... I know I can help. But... As long as you know... What I can't do... And you support me... Then I can be brave. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll join the expeditionists. Are you sure? Ben Barthelion asks. They're... It's dangerous. I know. But you don't have to doubt me. Even if I can't fight, I can take care of myself. And I so I can prove it. I still get to fight the other one, right? God damn it, Chippy. <laughs> She's probably practicing her fights right now. Doing silly sword play and dancing in the hallway. I'll referee. Pandora's like, well, okay. Then it's settled. Junior Expeditionists are probably planning their first excursion in about a... about a half a month or so. You'll want to sign up before that happens to really get the ball rolling. Yep. Well, this was a lot more eventful than I expected. It was supposed to be a celebration, and instead we dodged a bullet. Pandora chuckles nervously. Well, I guess all there is left is this unfinished business. Don't... <laughs> don't hurt her, okay? I guess I'll have to watch too, and Penelope's like... 
Oh, she'll be fine. Penelope's pretty durable. And I'll tell her the good news. And everyone kind of settles into the, the conclusion of that big conversation. All right, and time to go fight a mouse. Time to go fight oh a God, mouse. No. And, even, and, even, and, and even though you want to fight a mouse, I have, I just want to say, I have the, um, I just have like background music that's just playing randomly because I can't be bothered to make a playlist. And this particular music was so fucking good for the scene. I really liked it. So thank you to, I guess, Pretzel Rocks for making my D&D session better for me and not for anyone else who's not listening to the music. <laughs> it's okay. Um, that was good. Uh, do you, do you want to roleplay the sword fight? Because that feels like such a good place to end the session, too. Dude, I want to fight. I want to do the fight. <laughs> you want to do the fight? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. It's okay. The song ended, so now we're going to have some action-packed beat. All right. The fight is... I mean, you, you go out the door, and Penelope is waiting. Um, roll a stealth check. Okay. Rectex following just in case anyone gets hurt. Eh. It was a very poor stealth check. I wasn't stealthing very good. Yeah. You probably weren't really trying that hard. <laughs> I hey, look, it's that, that, that was that was that was way more of a burn than I meant for it to be. <laughs> Alright, everyone kinda comes out with you. Uh when you when you exit the courtyard, Tricky, you being the first one to go, because you're very eager for a fight, uh you you can catch a glimpse of Penelope doing what looks to be like Almost uh, a sort of, like, ballet dance. She's, like, standing on her toes, and she's, like, twirling around. But she has a ferocious face to her, and she, like, enunciates her intent with every step she takes. Yeah, Take that! And she stops when she sees you. I, ah. from my uh, endless quiver, I draw four labyrinth balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> With what a ball. show off! Mm. Oh, oh she's gonna like die. It's just like dodgeball all over again. Just like a fine addition to my collection. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Let's let's. I know what I need. Uh, another gif. But oh. uh, but but yes, you you draw the the labyrinth balls and and Penelope seeing you is like. It's like, ah, oh, finally, the duel that will determine the fate of our councils. And Samantha's like, no, it, it's, it is, it's not that serious. She kind of moves over and runs to Penelope's side. I am going to ready my uh, hand in a uh, finger gun, like, motion and use, uh, when they're ready, just press a digitation, uh, make a, like, a little spark to start the battle. All right, divvy yourselves up into teams. Who's cheering Penelope on and who's che cheering Tricky on? The whole student council is cheering you on, of course, Tricky. I am the ref. I don't think I'm allowed to. Uh, except for Samantha. Samantha is supporting Penelope. Uh, Rectuck is first aid. They're not supporting anyone either. I'm just worried. <laughs> Rectuck, you're not supporting me? I'm sorry. I... Please don't hurt each other. We don't have to fight. But it is fun, and the gun <laughs> did go off, so let's go! Alright, roll for initiative. Man, we get two battles this session. That's fun. Hell yeah. They're both 1v1s too, which is not a D&D &D thing to do. 1v1 me, bro. Roll a 6. We both roll the six, and you have the higher bonus. So you go oh, first. Plus four decks. Okay. Uh, I will throw some. I'll throw You're an just orb. Gonna just, yeet! I'm just going to do a normal orb throw. All right. I'm You're going to test the waters? Yep. Yeah, one normal orb throw. That is not land. And another, another normal That orb. That that one, that okay, one lands. The first one. The first one. We need to. Uh, yep. Bounce table. 30 feet. No, she's 40, so it has to go all the way. Um, bounce table. Oh, for, 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 for the rest of the team, uh, uh, Sig and I literally had like a discussion off, 
off session, off stream, about what the rules will be for using labyrinth buns, labyrinth balls in a fight and how they bounce. <laughs> Okay, second okay. one. Uh, second one is a hit, and it rolls damages. Yep. Uh, 15 damage. Are, is, is she your favorite foe? Yeah, favorite foe hits on the first time you hit. Ah, oh, so you so are choosing I, to make her your favorite I foe. I don't actually want to make her my favorite. It's only okay. going to take 10. For some reason, this thing automatically favored. I, I mean, I mean, it's it's fine, because you're just like... Hey, just in case. All right. Everyone's she, Tricky's favorite she, foe. She... She... she she gracefully spins around the second ball as the ball bounces back. Where, where's the ball moving? Uh, the, 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 the other ball uh, bounces this, this way, right? Here, then yeah. here. Or not, not there. Sorry, it went past her. Oh my god, here, John Madden. Then there. And now it's here, I think it was. Okay, so she, she, she spins and dodges the ball. The ball bounces along the wall. Yeah, she yeah. eyes the ball and reaches in to catch it. But a moment of distraction as the second ball strikes her at... Uh, I don't know where you're going to hit her. The shoulder, the ankle? Uh, I'm not doing... I, I'm doing um, non-precision strikes, so I'm literally just naming center mass. All right, so you just hit her, you just hit her uh, probably square on her shoulder blades. She lurches forward. Oh! Are those balls weighted? Mm, I just have a good throwing arm. She smirks. She has, she has, she has a, a, a look on her face that says, finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my movement to back up until I'm not 30 feet. I need to be here. I think she gets 10 extra feet of movement, though, for being a... So I gotta be here. <laughs> Calcul... <laughs> the, the wonderful calculations. Alright. So, she will, of course, go into Blade Song. She lets out Woo! a battle cry. And marches forward you 30 feet uh she will do just a simple 30 feet doesn't she have 10 more for play she on? does but she won't use it okay and then she will um what basically as she approaches you she does so basically trying to dodge everything you throw at her she moves erratically um almost um not quite drunken but in a way that belies any, you know, leading of your shots. And then when she finally gets to a point where she is comfortable, she jumps and does a somersault, in the middle of which she manages to point a wand at you and fires a magic missile. Ah, oh, magic missile. Magic missile! It happened! We finally did it! Yeah! A magic missile finally happened. Uh, this is automatic, because you can't miss. And, um... She's going to upcast it, which means uh, you take 15 points of damage as four mm -hmm. missiles shoot from, shoot from her and arc in the distance, guaranteeing that you are surrounded and cannot avoid it. Nice. Uh, Tricky takes them all and wins, or doesn't wince, he has no eyes. I, I, he, he kind of uh, scrunches down and hunkers as uh, his chitin plates are battered by these uh, missiles. Okay. She, she finishes the somersault and points the rapier at you. She takes a defensive stance. Is she dodging? Like No, no. Okay. She's not actually dodging. Okay. Um, well... I guess it's time. She's going all out, so am I. Here we go. Are you sharpshooting? Yes. All right, go for it. One. Nope. And... Deflected with her rapier. It bounces along the wall. Oh, I need to bounce. Uh, she's close. So, 30 feet. Bounce. 
25, it'll bounce here and then direction. Ping. It's reroll the bounce table, actually. Oh, reroll the mouse, right. I'll just have it land right back on me. Yep. And then I can use my free action to grab Hold it. On. I want to. I want to do something really quick, if you don't mind. Oh, I have to. I'm, um, I am going I to, to give the labyrinth balls a red tint, so they're easier to see. Okay. going to throw another at her. Go for it. I don't think it's very healthy if Tricky's balls are red. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a 20. Uh, so, well, she's... so so she is going to she is going to reflectively attempt to wave her so so as the ball um so as the ball rushes in towards her she tries to deflect with her with her blade she tries to block it the ball kind of in in true anime style it um it like starts spinning against her blade trying to break through it and 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 crack her down um Gently. she she struggles and pulls out her wands trying to cast a shield spell the shield spell goes off, but despite that, it manages to crash through her blade and her shield, striking her. Bing bong. Hey. Although that one, although that doesn't seem to be a sharpshooter attack. It is. Really? Oh, it is. Wow. All right. That's 22 damage. Uh, by the way, can you tint these two balls before I put them back on me? Yeah, go for it. I can't do it. You have to. Sorry, I meant... I don't know why I said go for it. <laughs> Ow, that was painful. She looks like she's... she's She looks like she's struggling after that strike. I move here and I grab my orb. And then I will move back here. One, two, three, four, five, six... There we go. I kind of circle right. her and I, I give her a slow, intense gaze. All right. She, 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 she's looking at you with a sense of determination despite her fatigue. She says, you're strong. No wonder you're the president's VP. Or sorry, no wonder you're Pandora's VP. And Pandora chimes in. She's like, his strength has nothing to do with it. Uh, she will move, though. She eyes the ball on the floor that you're obviously crouching towards. She will spin. I see what you're trying to do. And she spins around and, using her object interaction, just boom, <laughs> punts the ball along the wall. And I will roll the bounce table. I can roll it for you if you like. I got it. Oh, exactly it the same. <laughs> it putters to the ground. Uh... Can you roll direction for me? I don't have the direction one. Up left. So that's just going to put the ball right here. After she does that, she moves in uh, for a rapier attack. Does this... Let me see. Does this connect? Uh, what's your armor class? Sorry, I forgot that IGM roll. Am what's I... your armor class? Do I have my shield? Probably not. Um, a shield is allowed. Armor is allowed. Shields are allowed. 19. You're 19. Wow, she barely made it. Oh, I guess I technically only have three of these. All right, you take seven points of... Actually, one's in my, one's in my quiver. You take seven points of... Well, a rapier is supposed to do piercing damage, but if you'd like, I'd like to reflavor it to bludgeoning damage. So Penelope runs in, faints with a faints with a with a strike of the rapier, and then taking advantage of your flinch, strikes with the pommel. I just want to make sure she doesn't isn't like trying to actually stab you to death. Okay, so she's doing seven. Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. I... 
in in the meantime, as after she does that, she's going to go ahead and use one of her special features. Wait, let me double check to make sure that I'm not cheating. Cause I know there's a special feature, but I think it's I think it's too Let me see. Nope, she's fine. So in addition to this strike, um, she's going to 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 give you a brief stun with the pommel, and then with her other hand, take the wand and aim it at your feet, forcing you to basically take another magic missile. This this time not upcast. Oh wait, no. Magic Missile is not a cantrip. I can't do that. Yeah. Uh, she will hit you with a Scorching Ray. That's also not a cantrip. Sorry, I meant Firebolt. <laughs> That's even worse than not a cantrip. Yeah, it's even worse than not a she'll use. She'll use, you know, Disintegrate on you, the cantrip. <laughs> um, what is your... Uh, your armor class 19, right? Yes. Oh my god, she almost crit. Um, so in addition to that pier that bludgeoning damage, you take seven fire damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is the it's, smell of... Oh, oh, and, oh, and, oh, and, oh, and finally... Chitin. Oh, and finally, she'll take this opportunity to backflip away from you. It does provoke an opportunity attack, though. Uh, yeah, I'll make a melee with a lever and ball. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, not enough. I go to, like, you... check her with a lever and ball and miss. Yeah. You, you, you manage to snag her at the tail, but it, it does trivial. It, it, it does not send her off balance, and the damage it did is trivial. You take a moment to see your surroundings. The labyrinth ball. Oh wait, this labyrinth ball here. Let's move that uh, here. It would have panged against this. No, no, um... no this labyrinth ball doesn't exist technically. Uh, oh, it... okay. So I have three hands. One of them is a shield. Or er, four hands. Oh, one with a shield. I see. Yes, I see what you're saying. So I yes. put this one to the side because one of them is in my quiver. Which I could take I see. out with a bonus action. Yep. You you take a. Yep, you take a moment to see your surroundings. People are cheering you on. Don't give up. You see that Samantha is. Despite this conundrum awed by, uh, by Penelope's vigor, um, similarly how Penelope could see that you were the president's VP, it becomes clear why Samantha, despite the stubbornness, looks up to Penelope. Okay. One, two, three, 35. Can I object interaction from this far away? Um... Can I pick it up? Yes. Okay. I pick it I'm going to say yes. And I will make two attacks. Both of them snarp shooters. Uh, okay. First attack. All right. That is going to hit despite her shield. Oh my gosh. That'll do it. With one devastating strike, you managed to, I'm not gonna say knock her out, but you've definitely reduced her below the point where she can feasibly fight. Okay, so the ball like, goes straight into her stomach and wins her and knocks her on her back. Uh, it, it, def it definitely strikes her more in a more weak spot. You sharpshooted her. It hits her okay. in the head. Oh, oh no. Still she. Her. She reels over, ah, like a, like like the street fighter, like ah, 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 ah. I, I catch the ball. Like oh my god, and Samantha's like oh, <laughs> Lord in heaven. And she like looks in, and uh, Penelope milks the moment. She's like, ah. I, uh, I walk up and I, I offer her. I put my <laughs> no. Uh, I I sheath my labyrinth equipment and um, offer her a hand she, up. She looks she looks at you and takes a moment to adjust her skewed glasses before accepting your hand. That 
was incredible. Thank you. You she, also injured me a moderate amount. She 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 stands up to you and then immediately falters again, leaning on Samantha as she finds it hard to stand. Oh, I'm gonna remember this in the morning. Do you I need probably some smell when I go. What do you say? Do you need healing? Uh, Samantha, Samantha, uh, reassures you that she can handle it. Okay. And she, reass you know, she comforts, uh, Penelope a bit. You know, good job, you did well. And she shares her decision that she's going to join the expeditionists, and she'll trust her. And Penelope's like, that's good. <laughs> she's struggling to find the enthusiasm. <laughs> but you can tell she's genuinely happy. Then I'll keep my end of the bargain. She takes her, uh, she, she, you know, uh, sh her hand shaking, reaches into her pocket, takes the application form for the, for the student council and in dramatic faction, sh tears it in half. We will fight again. You know it. Uh, and she like, sort of. Leans back and lets lets uh, her consciousness fade slightly, and Samantha will like be like, "Okay, I'll take I'll take care of her now." <laughs> she like runs over and like the dorm is pretty close by. I'll see you tomorrow. I approach uh, Pandora and I'm I'm, like, geez, it's really hard because I can't say I'm smiling because I don't. But there's like a a giddiness. Um, to his steps. When did you I, learn? I when did you learn to fight with balls? <laughs> uh, That's like the cold closing, but we'll continue. That's the cold close. Good. Yeah, We're it done. might be. Yeah, <laughs> balls. We can continue. I'd be okay with continuing, but also, it is a good. Yeah. Cold. I, I, I'm, I also think that the my park ranger is going to, to tear the door down if I don't close the session soon. So I feel like this is a good place to end it for sure now. Yeah. All right. Oh. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I hope you guys are happy about it too. Even though Yay! it was a bit of a filler episode, session we got a lot all... done. Despite the really fact that it was session. filler, it was like so much happening. And it wasn't all just like, oh, cute, they're going to the beach. Yeah, you know? stuff was stuff was done. And the important thing is that this episode, despite being quote unquote filler, not really applying to our central plot, is all stuff that's going to matter come, going forward. What? Oh yeah, can't wait to see how Tricky and Fish's relationship is, a pig is affected by all the rumors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see Fish break off the friendship with Tricky so that the rumors stop. Can't wait to see Pandora respond to the rumors too. I can't wait to <gasps> die because I fucking now have a pacifist cleric with me. Yeah, a hardline pacifist. I'm happy. These characters got some development. I'm going to go find someone to raid, but if anyone here has anything specific they want to share... Maybe a, a final thought and an introduction of where people can find you on social media while I go look for a raid target. <laughs> no, man, I like I like doing little combat. I wish we could do more combat. You want to do some combat? I don't want to fight people. What? You want to fight me? <laughs> sure. Just tricky and No, I'm a, I'm a support wizard. <laughs> I am a character that throws Blabberun balls for 21 damage. Alright, I guess I'll start with my outro then. Thank cause... you, someone! <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got, I've got my ending thing going. I, I'm so. gonna fireball you three times. Alright. Uh, Dodge that bitch. <laughs> I'm Kaus. You can find me at Kaustership on... Oh, or KS Twitch channel on Twitch. Um... You should be able to find me on my Twitter and stuff. I don't know. Find me through Dryad stuff. I'm not hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I'll be streaming on Wednesday. So come visit me then.
I'm excited. Ray, you better share your socials. Is is Ray there? Please, Ray, please. Oh no, they got her. Oh no. All right. Well, I'll I'll do this for Ray because it's actually really important. I know for a fact that Ray could be found using this array on Twitch or Twitter or any variation of that. And I know that it's especially important that you go and follow her and check out her stuff right now because on Thursday, unless she's changed plans, I believe she'll be having a wonderful debut. So <gasps> everyone, pay special attention to this array because she's yes. going to be pulling out all the stops on Thursday. I'm hyping things up super unnecessarily, but it's important. <laughs> Does anyone else want to share? Otherwise, our raid target is going to be Ellie and Booster. I believe Ellie is doing a stream uh, of Hades right now. Oh, there is. I have been Ursa K. Lestis. Hi, my Twitch is Ursa K. Lestis, and my Twitter is Uwu Crimes. Because uh, Uwu? Going, it, yeah, going Uwu? Uwu, it deserves to be punished. <laughs> <laughs> Get in at a federal level. <laughs> Get in, Baka. We're doing uwu crimes. <laughs> when they, yes, they when I, they give I it the death penalty. Go raid the owl chemist. Oh, sick! I... All right, pick Ew. your raid targets or raid them Dryad. all. Who knows? Yeah, Dryad. Who are we raiding? Uh, I am raiding Ellie and Booster. I will send you uh, their their channel yes, real yes. quick if you want it. Yes. I will join you on that raid. But on my end, you can find me on other social medias as Dryad Min or Min Dryad on Twitter. You can also stay tuned for tomorrow where I'll be doing a reaction stream. I'm going to be going through all the content, at least, or at least as much content as I can, for the Spelljammer book and uh, the one D&D video. I've done my best to try to stay blind, so I'm really going to be looking at it with... Uh, with real first impressions. I'm excited for that. It's going to be a, a bit of a chill stream just because I need to reserve my energy after this session, which was <laughs> wild, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm very proud of myself. So well, I hope to see you then and for all the other streams I have this week. But until then, peace out, Cub Scouts. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. That's it. Freaking there you are! <laughs>